live in seven, hey. eight, oh, nine. No. Oh, my no. bad. <laughs> the one time Hi, that I guys. didn't say alive in, I just said live in like I did that part right. I wasn't on the interface to move us live, so I started counting down and then panicked. Because... Alive in. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing good. Hello, everybody, and welcome in. Oh, welcome hey. In. Hi. Can you see you there. Yes, thanks for joining us at the Conundrum Company once more for our epic oh. show. So we've got some announcements. We'll get those done pretty quickly, uh, and then we will move into the show proper. Uh, the first few coming from me are, we shifted our uh, donation this week. Uh, Adam brought this to our attention. Thank you, Adam. To Extra Life, um, which is doing this week, or this month, I believe, at Extra Life, is actually like this tabletop um, tabletop donation thing. Extra Life essentially is a, uh, a nonprofit that donates towards... Um, children with medical needs uh which is a very good cause always and forever D, &D beyond is doing this a uh, whole i think um wizards is doing this like there's a whole bunch of groups doing this and there's a huge bunch of earning going in from the DD community so we thought we'd try and contribute so thank you adam for bringing that to our attention go ahead and click on that big golden brown donate button down there and, and send some love over to those those folks who definitely need and deserve it. A huge thank you to our fantastic partners, Arcane Anthems for our magical intro theme, and the one on Rolling Tides as well. Um, Soundtail for being with us from the start and providing this amazing ambiance. Oh, it makes me so happy. And our newest partner, Rilaris Maps, who created this fantastic map that you are seeing right here. Um, Rilaris designed this, obviously this is the Wizards of the Coast version of Greyhawk, um, but it is a complete redo uh, with his own designs, all the coloring, all that jazz. He made the alterations that I requested. It's a beautiful map. Please go take a look at his work. He does commissions, so a map adds so much to a D&D &D world, uh, and it really is something neat to unfurl for your table, so please take a look and consider uh, checking out some of his work. And then be, be a Who knows? Okay, uh, I think that's all the Josh stuff done, so Parker, you're up. I'm here. I did it. All right. So thank you guys for being here. I would ask that you be here again tomorrow for Sarah's Roundtable at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be super fun. Button, aren't you playing in this one? Are you playing in this yeah. one? Okay. I was right. So come join us for that. Uh, Sarah explores different TTRPGs every month on Roundtable, and it should be super fun. We've got some new faces joining us there as well. Uh, next week, we have our standard programs on Friday. We have Rolling Tides at 7 p.m. Eastern, and you'll be back here with us on Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then we Maybe. have Cost Playground for our 30th. So Sunday the 30th, we have our next episode of Cost Playground. It has some really, really cool cosplays coming your way. I'll be playing a melee fighter for the first time, so come watch me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but it'll be great. <laughs> so that's our schedule. I do have uh, an announcement. We have merch, and uh, Josh, would you mind uh, transitioning us over to the other screen? You got it, boss. So, we have new merch, hey. guys. I am excited to bring you new merch. We have new collections in our store. Uh, so you can find a Conundrum Company one, there's a Rolling Tides one now, and there is um, just our Welcome In logo stuff. But, so you guys, we have, we have mascot merch. Thank you, Tanner Methalador, for, so uh, he's so cute. So Boris, we have Boris with our welcome in. Boris, when you guys might have seen this in our fan art section. We have Samson from Rolling Tides. And we also have both of our baby pseudo dragons on merch now as well. So we have the full mascot crew on different items, which is just so cute. I need all of the BIMS merch. Um, we will be adding awesome. more. And then we have our final one is a Conundrum Company logo that was designed by Pinsnip. So thank you guys, both Methalador and Pins, for letting us use this art in our in our stuff. It's so good, guys. So we now have not only logo art, we have mascot art, and we have Conundrum Company specific logo art. If you want to just show some love to this motley crew of idiots. <laughs> back. Tell me I'm wrong. Crew of idiots. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, we also still have all your regular logo merch in there too. And I love seeing when you guys order it and post it in the fan discord. So thank you. And we're on to Sean for announcements. Hello, everyone. Um, so as you all know, we have a sub discord for our uh, subscribers to the channel. 
Um, I believe that Zod is on his final round of the one shots for the Rolling Tide campaign. So if you did want to get into that, this would be your final chance to do that. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, get into the Discord, uh, fill out the application, and he will be announcing that, I believe, in one or two weeks, very soon. So that's coming up quickly. Um, we also have just a bunch of cool people in there talking about different stuff all the time. Um, so it's a good place to hang out. Uh, we also have our socials, um, if you want to go follow those for, you know, different updates and uh, like the schedule we just talked about now. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. If you want to stay on top of that, see who is going to be in each one of these events, uh, be sure to go follow those. Also, our YouTube channel. Um, all the videos are posted three days after they go live here. So uh, you, you never have something to not watch. I think that's it. Oh, Lord Up. Oh, it comes out Monday. Um, What's the very other good. Title? Hang, on, hang, on, hang, on. hang on, I gotta, I gotta remember what it was. Oh, jeez. Guys, this episode of Lore Dump is brought to you by Sean, not remembering the title. I remember. Because <laughs> I've had to work on other stuff for the podcast. Ah, yes, yes. This one, uh, we created our town. It's called Welcome to Pittsburgh. It's a very, <laughs> it's a very good episode, oh, I think. Oh, no. So be on the lookout for that coming out Monday morning. Uh, 10 a.m. Oh, Eastern. It's fantastic. Oh, that's one of my personal favorite episodes. A, a nod to some of our amazing friends. So, oh, y'all need to y'all need to tune into that one. Welcome. The last to episode welcome. was terrifying in the best way. <laughs> I'm judge, I, all I'm saying is this: I'm gonna judge how you build Pittsburgh because I used to live there. You might be surprised. <laughs> you, my, you, you, will I? Yeah. My personal favorite game is listening and being casually listening to it, and then the boys will mention me, and I'll be like, wait. What happened? Anxiety? 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 Why? Why am I? What? Yeah. All right, guys. So, with those announcements done, uh, we are going to head into our game proper. We had oh, yeah. last left our intrepid crew standing upon the, their, the deck of their ship, the Falling Star, staring at this imposing island which burst from the surface of the water, but or not actually burst, but erupts quite abruptly from the surface of the water. Um, kind of reaching into the sky this big black spire with a land bridge a narrow causeway running from the mainland over to the bridge uh vessels that had kind of traveled along with you from salt marsh where you had done some shopping convened with the admiralty and met with the other individuals who were part of this war council uh had joined up with you the lizard folk the loa cath and the koalinth had all gone ahead to begin the blockade of this swagan island and you had followed suit with the more land-based forces aboard the ships, including the Arcadia, um, the vessel led or crewed and manned and captained by Admiral Hawk. Um, you are now preparing to slow down. You can see it's interesting. It's it doesn't look like a battlefield. It doesn't look like a war zone. As you catch your bearings, the water is quiet. Gentle waves rocking against the vessels. Arrayed beside and behind you are the other ships of the flotilla, mostly small fishing vessels and sailing merchant sailing ships, not really equipped for wa war, barring the Acadia itself, the brand new, very, very nice looking Keolan naval vessel. And so, how will we proceed? What time is your question? I believe, <laughs> oh gods, let me recall, I believe it was you had just kind of spent a night traveling and had arrived kind of that morning. And so really, you're mm -hmm. still actually bearing down on the island. Um, you do begin to see some of the other ships around you tacking and prepping to kind of pull up and slow uh, without actually entering too close to the island. Um, you can hear some uh, an admiral's whistle <whistles> coming off of, um, off of Hawk's ship. And you can see rigging and tack being pulled and furled as they prepare to slow up uh, and weigh anchor. And you do see, dotted on the water, those catamarans that you recognize from the lizard folk, um, particularly the large one. That is, you're kind of slowing up and coming to bear right next to those vessels. And you can see a few lizard folk kind of waving or watching you as you all arrive. Uh, also on the surface, you do see a few Loacath aboard their sea lion mounts, um, 
most of them had traveled with you, but a few had gone in advance along with the lizard folk and Loakath, uh, or uh, Coalin. Each would like to pull out their uh, sending stone really quickly and just <laughs> check in with Plum and say, I love you. Everything okay, That's Peach? It. Is everything okay, Peachy? Yep. You're making me worry. Fine. Sorry, just wanted to say that I love you, and I hope that you're safe and all right. And I kind of think back to Scarin's message and say, be careful. I love you, I will. Thank you. I'm going on a another outing with friend. Love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, God. Moms. I love it. It's like a book club. <laughs> <laughs> or a date. I can't tell. <laughs> Why, <that's laughs> Why not both? I was tempted I to know. use the word date. Yeah. I was like, oh. mm, we'll see. <laughs> it's it's my too too mom. early to tell. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, she's, I guess, going to be at the helm of her ship, just instructing them to follow the Acadia's lead. Okay. Um, as far as ship stuff goes, she's just standing up there where she can see. Yeah, he hasn't given us any instruction yet, because I get the sense he's sort no. of in charge of this whole operation, right? Uh-huh. You guys are kind of waiting for Hawk. Um, uh-huh. So yeah. all is going to grab the statue? Um, and go to Morton. Mm -hmm. Um, Morton. Hi. So, could you do me a favor? Sure. Could you hang on to this for me? The statue? Yeah. All right. Everybody Mother okay? wants me to get rid of it, so I, I don't have it anymore. All right. Thank you. I'll <laughs> just put it in a bag. Sweet. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> I've been thinking about that for a week, guys. That's the move. That's the big move. It's good. It's good. I like it. Start looking around. I like that none of us have any idea what we're doing. We're all like, we'll figure it out. One of these oh days, we'll figure it out. <laughs> right. And as Demi, you're standing there, all of a sudden, uh, you hear inside of your head, All right. <clears throat> Two representatives aboard the Acadia. Fifteen minutes. It's gone. Two. Two. What? Was that like a sending message? Can I tell? Yes. I was... guess I better respond. This dude also has sending. I didn't know you could. I didn't <laughs> know you could do that. Uh, right. Cool. Uh, yep. Be there in a second. I didn't count. <laughs> She's gonna say all that. <laughs> There's I no response. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't count. I didn't count. <laughs> okay. I don't like that in my head. Is that what I do to people? Is that what I do to people? She's asking Oceanus. <laughs> yes. I'm about to ask you, just having this existential crisis. <laughs> oh, Oceanus is next to her, I assumed. I don't know. You, you get used to it. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's um, only weird the first few times. You're fine. Good, yeah, it's then you're used to handy. it. Yes. If it had more words, it'd be better. Um, mm. two, two, I have to take two representatives over there in a little bit. I think he said 15 minutes. Wasn't paying attention, was a little thrown off. Um, you stay with the ship. Because I don't feel like it'd be safe otherwise. Um, oh. <laughs> she's going to find Morton. I pulled in the statue. It's like, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Morton, why are you. Did you actually have it out? I just slowly like, put it behind my back. <laughs> what? what do you have there? Nothing. What's up? Okay, all right, whatever. Um. Do you, I have to take 
me and someone else over to the Arcadia to talk, Arc Arcadia, I don't know, to talk to Hawk. Do you want to go? Sure. Okay. I'll just jump off the side of the boat. No! <laughs> Start walking across. I don't have that. M Morton, I don't, uh -huh. I don't have that. I can't walk on oh. water. I... Want a piggyback? Yes! Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll piggyback across the water. As you guys are <laughs> you, you guys are kind of walking across the water, Demi aboard Morton. Um and I'm as you kind of I don't like that. As you kind of begin crossing the water, you see as kayaks and canoes are dropped from some of the lizard folk vessels and they begin and if everyone's kind of looking at you like this is very strange. Morton. And you see like a few rowboats being dropped into the water as some of the other not a, nowhere near even as large as your ship, but some of the larger sailing vessels drop rowboats and send individuals over to um, the Acadia, and everybody kind of gets aboard over the next 15 minutes. Um, you find yourself standing aboard this very wide-decked um, longship, bristling, and all the sailors are, are in immaculate shape. You can tell Hawk runs a rather tight ship. Um, they're wearing pristine uniforms he's uh wearing funnily enough the big hat but the admiral's coat that you've seen him in nowhere to be seen and his sleeves are rolled up and his arms are just all like anchor tattoos and things like that and he's very like welcome aboard Hello. all right so we're here <laughs> we're so intimidating <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just picturing five foot four Debbie on the back of Morton. <laughs> he's like, he hasn't him. actually, like, when he said welcome <laughs> aboard, it down. was to everybody. And he's like, he's walking down and there's a line of you and he stops. He doesn't make eye contact with the two of you who are a little like wet from sea spray, but not like <laughs> drenched. And you're still on Morton's back and he stops doesn't look at you, shakes his head a little bit, and keeps walking. <laughs> she'll get down, and then she'll shape water off of them. <laughs> she'll just throw it off the boat. <laughs> right, I need you all. Uh, where's Otha Kent and Swariv? Um, Gupper and the Claw King will need you to report on what's going on in the last few days so we can get some information. Um, and then, well, we'll take it from there. Uh, so I'm going to have the captains and the representatives step forward into my cabin, uh, and we'll pour over the map and see what's going on. Sound good? Sure. As they make their your way, you follow him into this cabin, mm -hmm. and it is a huge cabin, like massive. Like you can literally, there's a series of tables with different benches and things at them, and you can tell he holds meetings in here as well. And then there's just a bed at one end, fairly simple looking, um, oil lanterns and things like that, and then just maps and navigational equipment scattered all over the place. Um, you do see there's like a large chest in one corner um, that appears to be locked. Um, but other than that, it really stands out. Step in. Beyond, it's a big cabin. Big ship, very big cabin. Gotcha. While you guys are looking in there, just to go back on the falling star, Peach, Adam, Peach Zal, is there anything you guys would like to be doing during this time? Yes. Um, Peach wants to find Odophilia really fast and give her a haiku that they wrote for her and then probably run away. Oh, what's this? Um, do you remember the day when we climbed into the crow's nest and you didn't like heights, but you did it anyway? Yes. Thank you for reminding me. It it just says, the slip of paper says, Climbing past her fears, she rises up, triumphant, framed in veils and sky. And that's her haiku. And they say, that's just for you! And they turn and, like, they're, they're Wait. just clearly fearful, like, try to get the... Yeah. Thank you. Well, I'm... What did you learn to write poetry? Oh, I don't know how to write poetry. I'm just trying. Well, I'm not an expert, but it seems like good poetry to me. Well, 
I think good poetry needs a good subject. So maybe that's why. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm the subject. I'm I didn't hear that. I'm so sorry. She said, oh, I'm the subject. Um, yeah. Oh, I, gosh. Yeah. Okay. And she folds it up, and now um, he's being awkward welcome. as well. Oh. Yeah. You're okay. Bye. See you, Bye. See you later. <laughs> and then she has to go the same direction as you, so there's like this really awkward oh, no. pacing thing. Okay. They like peel off into a broom closet as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this done in public? I just want to ask. <laughs> I assume it's on the deck. I don't know where where was this happening, but probably below deck. Yeah. Oh, below. yeah, it's up wherever Odophilia was. So I guess on the deck. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. They peel off wherever they can hide. Got it. Got it, it can it. be around the mast. It doesn't just somewhere. Perfect. <laughs> there is like a there's a rowboat position in the middle of the deck uh, that is kind of butted up against the mast. On the vessel, um, kind of duck behind that. Under it. Oop. Oh no, you're okay. Odophilia goes up to the front of the ship, and you kind of hear her amongst the crew members going up there. Zal's just working. Oh, what's Zal's he working? just uh, Zal's working on making sure the repairs that were done were correct, and also trying to learn from them. And then also, he's just with the crew doing his thing now that he has, like, a routine. Like, you know, he goes to Pigpen, him and Pigpen fit bump fist. Uh, As you know. you're bumping fists with Pigpen, uh, Heinrich yeah. kind of runs. Oh, uh, Dom, uh, I've, uh, I've, I got something for you. Um, oh, yeah, what's, what's that? And uh, pulls from behind his back, and it's a toolkit, a wooden toolbox with oh, wow. carpenter's tools. Place wow. Oceana said that um, you should have this if you're going to be a proper bosun. So. Wow. You can well, add thank you can add tools to your inventory. Hell yeah. Not Zal's looking at this. Yet, but you have yeah, I was going to say, Zal's like, wow. And in his head, he's like, I don't know what half of this is. <laughs> Either. Uh. Okay. He doesn't say that out loud. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, but thank you. Thank you very much. I will, um, I'll make sure this goes to good use. And then does, like, the classic, like, turn around, like, just deadpan face from, like, <laughs> just looking at it. <laughs> and, like, walks back to his room, puts it in there. Perfect. All right. Snapping back to uh, Captain's cabin. There's been a bunch of information shared. Essentially, Othakent and Suarev of the Lizard Folk explain that the cordon, the blockade that they've formed, kind of sits where these vessels, your vessels, have now come to more. Um, that they've formed a defensive line uh, under the surface as well. Uh, as best they can with the support of the Lower Cath and the Coalin. Um, and beyond that, they haven't made any maneuvers. There's been sightings of Swagen, but and minor conflicts where small groups of patrols have run into each other, but nothing beyond that over the last few days. Um, they report not getting too close to the island, um, as they didn't want to overstep or cause open conflict before the rest of the fleet arrived. Um, they all kind of give this information, sharing reports. Um, but the most important piece of information is shared at the end, where Othakent kind of... There is something that is most disconcerting. The island has sunk at least a hundred feet. You are not certain how. It was not at this height when we left. The land bridge that runs across the causeway, that is, uh, it used to connect to a shelf around the edge of the island, and it now buttressed straight up against the island itself, as if the causeway stayed, but the island sunk. There were a number of entrances, 
nearer this or above the surface of the water. Um, and now they are submerged. Has Demi ever heard anything about an island sinking? Well, history check. Okay. <laughs> Dice, I don't I don't I don't need to drop you. Uh that is I don't know what my history is, one second. Not great, it's a fourteen. Um you've heard of terrible, terrible storms that, you know, sunk small islands and earthquakes where pieces of land would fall into the water, but you've never heard of an island controlled sinking as Swarov seems to have, or Althagen seems to have described. Oof. That's weird. So, you were going to send us in, and those entry points are no longer there, or they're just underwater? Oh, no. I can mark where they are. And you see, um, there is, the, on the table before you, Hawk has been pointing at it, there is this just rough sketch of the island. It's like a lump done in just like a black pencil uh, that has like some places marked, the causeway connected to it. Um, and I said, all right, <laughs> mark where they'd be. And Othakent kind of walks up and she puts, there's an X where the causeway currently does sit. Um, there does appear to be an entryway there. But then on the back side of the island, which is the side facing the sea, it says, M. Zelra's a very large uh, cave entryway that we used as a sort of harbor, about 80 feet down. So that would be submerged now, right about here. It's an X there. She goes, that is, those were the two primary entrances, so the one that is, and sort of says, uh, there was also, uh, um, there was a, a small entrance that was sort of a little bit of a uh, escape route sort of thing um, that was, and he marks almost directly underneath the causeway, um, kind of straight down. Um, and again, this is also about 80 feet down where the causeway is marked currently on this map. So as you kind of look at it, you've got this. Let me draw what they're showing you guys really quick, okay? Ooh. Ooh. Josh map. Josh map! I love map. <laughs> Josh map. Show us the Josh cam. <laughs> Josh cam. Brought to you by Soundtail. Ooh, well, no, but yes. <laughs> so this terrible masterpiece right here showcases the island, and you can see the squiggly line, which is the water and the causeway. They mark this larger, terrible drawing here. You can tell That's that Otha Kent and uh, Hawk, neither of them are artists, uh, and this was this sort of indicated as this what was above surface harbor, and this was this sort of, as Swarov steps in, he marks this as, as this sort of escape route, this hidden entry point. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, There's a lot of verticality to, to deal with here. Oh. They used to live here. Let's go. What's the inside look like? Just. Well. Been to our, our cave on the peninsula. Uh, mm -hmm. Very much like that. Um, rough hewn caves uh, that we cut out and expand a little bit, but we're not much for embellishment. Gotcha. You mean the cave systems that you told us were very easy to get lost in? Yes. This island looks bigger. like that. Much bigger. Great. Oh, good. Are you sending anyone um, from the island with us? Well, says Hawk, that's a conversation. Um, do you have somebody, Arthur Kent? Well, 
there is one individual who is familiar with these people. He has worked with them before. Hell yeah. Send him along. Uh, oh, oh, please don't tell me that you're about to say Jean. Ah, so you remember him, your friend, Jean. <laughs> Yes. Guys, back on the ship. There, you, there's a lizard folk vessel nearby, and you can hear like, "Hey, is that Zal? It's me, Junk, everybody. Hello." He's yelling in lizard folk to you, Zal. <laughs> the only person do you, you can understand. <laughs> do you have anyone else? Just like you know, any anyone else? I just worry for his safety. He wasn't super helpful in the whole thousand teeth thing. Just, you know, somebody like real top powerful. Um... Roll persuasion for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a 12 plus 8, so a natural 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you really insist, you can probably find girls, but. No, he's fine. He seemed quite Thank excited you. about work. Morton? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Parker! <laughs> we'll die laughing. I, you know, <laughs> fine, but do not blame me if he does not come back to you. No, I'm um, we can take someone else if we really want to. I'm not there's no one more powerful than that. Um, there is no one who is quite as slippery and good at sneaking in and out. Oh, fine. Really? Because, like, the last time we went, he never shot up. I'm sorry, this is unprofessional. Um, sure, that's fine. We're good. <laughs> okay. So, how do we proceed? You should suggest. We have not gotten eyes on the submerged parts of the island. Ah, uh, yes, that's, um, that's true. We need to take a look, scout the exterior probably before we move inwards. Uh, Gupper? Howdy. <laughs> we could try and get close, but the water surrounding the island itself is a little murkier. It's got all the spray and tide hitting up there. It's a little hard to have visibility. Down below us, easy enough, but you get closer to the coastline and it's a little tricky. Is that normal? Yeah. Can be. Insurance to swear up. Is that normal? <laughs> uh, not my area of expertise, honestly. Um, it's, the water was always a little murky around. Uh, okay. I suppose. Are we, are we fighting them out? I'm not getting that man killed. Are we fighting them outright, or... Are we hoping to hold this blockade with our big boat well, and going in? We have to drive them out eventually. Yes. But now we hold the blockade while we get our bearings. Hence mm. having you folks go in there and see what's going on inside, if you can. We can work on trying to scout the exterior as well, but I assume you'll want some of that information before you go inwards. Um, yes, that would be nice. Once we can probably you... gather some of our own as well. It's true. Um, Suarev originally said, like, teams of people. That was multiple. Are you sending anyone but us? You'll have folks scout the backside of the island in the heart. No, okay. All right. Good. Good to know. I Just... mean... Be honest with me, we it's can, fine. <laughs> there's three ways in. If you want, we can send teams in the other direction. We can send a group of marines. Try and infiltrate from one of the other... So this is like a hush-hush. Sneaking without being I've... seen thing. Not like a uh, let's go talk if, to them. If we present... I mean, if you can talk them and... Doesn't seem I, we had a chance to interrogate. No, your... Morton, I don't think we have enough magic to charm an entire city. That's you know. Maybe no. 
that worked with um I don't know, civ civilized? Is that the correct word? Um, less angry folks? I don't know that we'd be very good with that, but... Um... Height of civilization. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, what? <laughs> he's, uh... I'll tell you later, Morton. Um, all right, so investigating, find out where we're going in, and then deciding if we're the only ones that goes in. Yes. And I'm not against sending a second group, but what we don't want to do. No, I know. Let them know that we're. I get it. It's. Oh, the chances of us being found. Yes. We don't know their numbers. Uh, we don't know their fortifications. We know thus far they've held to the island. And from what Oath and Kent Swarov have said, excuse me, the Queen, um, have said, um, it's. And Oath and Kent kind of levels him a little bit and then lets him go with it as he, like, corrects himself. Um, we know that, um, well, we know very little, but we know it's fortifiable. All right. Well... Before we throw forces at it, we need to know numbers, traps, weak points. Okay. Well, we launch I a joint suppose... Offensive and sweep them on out of there. I'll tend to the queen say, Your Majesty, if nothing had been done to the building, what entrance would you choose? For an assault or for sneaking? Sneaking. If Swarov's door is there, then Swarov's door is with to get in. Sounds good. That would put oh. you on the lower level of the cave system. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I used to live here. Yes. A series of caves running up three levels. We did some alterations, but nothing too big. Living areas, common spaces, very much akin to. Okay. All right. If we are to launch scouting forces, when do we want to do it? Daytime, nighttime. Leaving this up to you, Captain. We sleep at night. Oh yes, do we know that? Are they nocturnal? Um, real history check. Oof. Both of us or one of us? Uh, both of you. Me. Oh, no, so many NPCs are probably. A one. Uh, oh, sorry, a dirty one. A 17, oh my gosh. Dirty um, one. There's nothing that says they're nocturnal um, in your experience with them. But day-night cycles are a little weird under the sea. Yeah, literally inside a rock all the time. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, sure. Well, then I suppose we... Um, let's... Uh, I think we should go in at night. Yes, me too, Morton. Um, let's let's go ahead and spend today uh, figuring out some lay of the land and maybe see if we can get any more information, and then we will attempt to go through Swarev's door. Right. You want me to send a group of marines if we can, or well, if it's underwater, touch. Hey. Oh. I can give them an hour under there. No, um, you, uh, we can handle ourselves as far as breathing underwater, so maybe we'll go in first, and then if we feel the need, I can send you a message. Okay. Um, that's probably what we'd prefer to do. Um, I ask that while we are gone from my ship, that you keep it from the bottom of the ocean. Best. Gupper! Clocking. You lot will be scouting the exterior as well, so... Yes, clocking. Again, oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, happily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all can count on us. Dismissed! Right. She's gonna... She's gonna wait for everybody to leave except for Hawk and, I guess, Morton. Oh. She's gonna hold his hand if he tries to leave away. <laughs> 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 just, uh, um, cool. Once it's just Hawk... <laughs> So, 
realistically, how are you thinking this is going? If I had my way, we blow this island out of the water. Yeah. Yes. Well. Shell it until they leave. We don't. Yeah, I. But we owe the if, lizard folk this much. They told us. Yes. That. Yes. All right. Well. Mm -hmm. Um. Thank you. Um. What's the Claw King's deal? I just. I. Please tell us. I was Swan hoping you knew. <laughs> I. D oh God. No. I'm gonna have to ask Swarov at some point. From what I know of Olin. Mm hmm. The reason that the sea elves aren't fighting Lonnie's folks is because the Kowalin are here. Oh. That's all I could pull from Swarov. That's, That's unfortunate. Don't get along. I would like, you know, elves with magic would be. and breathing underwater. That'd be great right now. Um, well, yep. I wouldn't count the clocking out in regards to his usefulness. Oh? We take him inside. No, what? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no. Uh, all right. Thank you. I just, I, you know, curiosity. Anyway, we'll be going back to our boat now. All right. Dismissed. At ease, Morton. Okay. How does that mean? Let's go, Morton. No, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you on the way back. <laughs> and so you walk back across the water. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, I guess. Okay. So you see uh, as Demi and Morton return, Zal and Peach. Whoa. Why? And I'm just pointing off the ship at the lizard. Why? Oh, is is he already here? Why? He's on a canoe nearby, like a smaller cataran is sitting <laughs> off to the side. Slowly approaching our boat. <laughs> you know what's funny? I tried my very best. I could hear him across the blockade. I tried my very best, but they wouldn't really send anyone else. Um, he's apparently the sneakiest, and, you know, to be fair, you're the only one that can understand him, so I'm very sorry, but I won't be testing Comprehend Language for that. I am so excited to see you all again! <laughs> Sounds delightful. Was that in common, or, um... He doesn't what, speak no. common. What did he I doesn't do? speak common. No. <laughs> what did I do? Honestly, what did I, I do? I asked for a guide, and that's what they gave us. That's not a guide, that's a problem. I'm aware, and I told them that if he dies down there, it's not our fault. Well, if you if kill him, I won't tell anyone. Okay. That's why I like you. Then we, um. then I have silence, Peach. <laughs> Sounds like a horrible thing to do. Well. I don't think, I lean over to Morton, I don't think he'll actually do it. It's okay. just. That's better. Zal smirks. I'm just telling him. <laughs> she like leans over to Morton. She's like, I'm telling him that to make him feel better. Zal smirks. I'm <laughs> whispering. Prol if you want to hear it. Zal still smirks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, right. Well, do you guys do have the day? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um. So, do we have a plan, or is it? No. Uh. I mean, oh. Well, Morton. <laughs> Uh, I'll fill them in on, like, kind of what was said. Um, just, like, a general gist of the information we were given. Demi and then draws tell a really them... good map and shows. Yeah, it. so good. No, I just show you the one that they gave me. It's <laughs> slightly uh, damp because we got sprayed again. I'm shaping water off of both of us. Um, <laughs> yes, so uh, we're going in to evaluate everything like what was told before. Um hopefully not drawing attention to ourselves or getting ourselves killed, just to find out what the best way to actually lead this uh, like assault against them would be. So our goal is to get in, get information, get out, um, in the hopes that, that the Admiral won't just shoot this island out of the sea. Also, yeah. it's sinking? What sank? The, it sunk like a hundred feet. I don't think it's still sinking. I think it just it's... sank the ones. One usually, second. what isn't well, it that when over three months, maybe? isn't it usually that the ocean gets deeper, not that land sinks? Like it's I, actually the water. Well, I all okay. I know is that sometimes with stories, it's it's like you know um, weather and things can make islands sink lower into the you know, and then islands form also from the bottom of the you know. So 
sometimes that but i um i don't know what's going on and i just hope that we don't die for this i don't want to you're die not for allowed this to die. well no you don't, you're not going no well none of us are allowed to, to die to I, you don't you aren't allowed to die. none of you are allowed to die okay. um when we go in, we'll have you make a map as we go, and if things get bad, then you all just run back the way you came. I don't... I'm not going to run and leave anyone, but also, that's a great point. I really need map stuff. Uh. Hey, question. <laughs> Anybody hmm? else able to cast invisibility? Or no. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. Well, I got three of us. I can be a fish. I That's can true. pass without a trace for an hour. We'll see what happens. I mean, I, mm, I wish that this was going to go like it did with the lizard folk, but it's definitely not. Um, they're just going to probably try and eat us. Um, probably leave some room. I, just saying. You you what? They might be welcoming. We don't know. I. Mm, we don't know. know. I that's know. all I'm no, saying. That's, that's fair. We don't know. Not fair. How many of you, you can change what you look yet? like? How, how many what now? Of you can change what you look like. Zal, you can make yourself Ooh. look like me. Can you make yourself Not look anymore. like me? Not anymore. No, I gave up that no? ability. I can do that. So I could breathe uh, out so the water. You can do that like weird. once, right? Yeah. I can't. I sing. I well, can't. people. I I mean, I can make people wait. Okay, Morton, mm -hmm. do you think you could become like a swaggin? Probably. That's okay. What I... Okay. Well, no, I I understand. I was just trying to help Morton get there. I can do it once, and I gotta wait a little bit. Well, because I could make I the a short rest. two of you invisible with myself. Mm -hmm. We follow Swag Morton. I appreciate where this is going in case of emergencies however i would like to remind you who you're asking to pretend to be someone else that's a sort of point. i love you Morton. i can't that's speak shark that also that none of us can point. speak those i'm here for hiding as much as humanly possible okay we'll then go back to the first plan Three invisible and fish it's no nah. yeah follow yeah. the lizard morton you oh. could pretend to be one of the shark Things that they were riding, maybe. Can Not you that do that? Big. Oh crap! Could you be a baby one? A little baby shark. Baby shark. The entire crew dropped down. musical number. Morton shark. Morton shark. Shaping water as these jet streams around the boat. Shaping shark. That's fine. All it's right. the same level of choreography as Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. About baby yeah. This is why we play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely it is. <laughs> okay. So All right. What do we so... need to learn? We need to learn how many of them there are. I did send you a list that is in yes. chat. We have a to-do list. We do have Hold a to-do list. Hold of you to assume I can read. I'm sorry. Um... Adam, I didn't mean to set that standard for you, my friend. Determine Thanks, the strength man, of the Swagen that. forces. This is for the audience. Determine the strength of the Swagen forces. Leadership, soldiers, weapons, mounts. Locate important areas within the fortress. Barracks, officers, quarters, leadership, housing. Discover significant defensive measures, traps, areas readily specified for defense. Areas for an attacking force to avoid or overcome. Discover how advanced the Swagen preparations are and what they, what they might try to use to break the siege. Or if Swagen was going to attack Salt Marsh. So pretty much as much as we possibly can. So everything. They want to know everything about everything. They want they were gonna send four people in with an idiot as their fifth, and it's gonna be great. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> Not you, Morton. Oh, oh, as she right says that, here. John actually finally climbs aboard and says, Hey everybody, I'm here in Lizard Folk. Doesn't which... doesn't speak common, yeah. yeah. It's draconic. It's draconic, hey. right? Yeah, draconic. It's, okay. And it's all kind of turns with a smile. <laughs> Hi! Hey, buddy. How are you? An old friend. My buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on, let's have a hug. Okay. Okay! Oh. <laughs> and he gives all a big hug. 
Good, I won't be doing that. Zal is not hugging back. He's, <laughs> he's doing the... Who's next? Like... Peach? Peach wants a hug! And he, like, goes... Demi's is walk walking away towards Oceanus like she has nothing to say. She's <laughs> captaining. She's just, boop, bye. Hey, I don't think she likes me, huh, Zal? Oh, cool, cool. Oh, no, she Ooh. thinks she'll great. She oh. thinks she'll great. That's what she said. She sure. said, she, I would show great. Okay. Oh, what are we doing? Huh? We're gonna sneak into the... to the big place. Oh, I love the big place. What's the big place? Oh, the island. He points, oh. he points at the island. Hey, did they tell you about the secret hide hole? Get through yep, in and out what... all the time. Which one are you referring to? The one, uh, there's a little hole under the causeway, under the... Oh, yeah. What the hell? It got shorter. Yeah, it did. But the that's where we're going. Small. Titan. No, it... It just... Who did that? Did you do I don't... I... No. <laughs> we just got here with you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, buddy. We're gonna get through this. Okay, yeah, thanks, cool. Man. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna go find the kitchen. And he, like, walks okay. off and just, like, walks oh. into the galley on his <laughs> own, like... <laughs> Oh no, uh, he's going to the kitchen. <laughs> Wait! Well, he's gone. Cool, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> don't touch my kitchen. Oh, yeah, food! Oh, you, you hear in Draconic, you're just like, he's got an apple. Okay, that's, that's fine. Just don't move things. How do we proceed? <laughs> um... Are we just set to go, or are we waiting for them to do their recon and come back to us? So you have a day to prepare yourselves. Um, gotcha. At which point you indicated you would like to begin your approach to the supposed secret entrance uh, under the water. You wanted to move at dusk or dark, but you have time to prepare. Keep in mind, you do have to be underwater for this approach that you have. Yes, fine. sir. Hello. Do you think you can ask Junk to make us a more detailed map of the inside, since he used to live there? Yep. Yeah. Hey, friend. Hey, buddy. So you used to live in there, right? Yeah. A couple you months just... ago, like, shark people chased us. Well, yeah. You didn't know um, that? Come on. No, I, d I did. I was making sure that you didn't... I don't know your travel plans. You could have been out the entire time, you know. You'd be a very okay. We don't don't throw food on the ground. That's not. Whoopsie. Nope, that wasn't. I saw you do it. I, that wasn't. Anyway, um, can you draw us a map of what it looks like? Oh yeah, I can draw you map. Which floor do you want? The the one where we're sneaking in. Secret door floor. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Give me a Secret minute. I'll draw you. I'll draw you map. It's not very good map. Okay. Well, and and in common, he just kind of looks. It's not gonna be good. It's probably gonna be a line, Secret two door, lines. Go like this a little bit. Okay. Yep. It's gonna be real bad. Then there's cave oh. here. Then like a big cave here. And I was cave this real way. Bad. And then this goes up here, okay, nope. and up here, <laughs> and then there was the like Harbury place here. That's not that's not right. I did it squiggles, okay, down like that. Okay, ignore <laughs> some of he... these lines, but some of them are right. Oh man! <laughs> a oh secret God, door is, is you come in this way, and there's little cave. This is big cave, and there's like hallways go down this way, and then that big Harbury place was here, okay. That is yeah. third floor. Some gotcha. lines I messed up. Third floor? Bottom floor. How many floors are there? Three. What are the yep. other two? Wait, I didn't hear what you said. Is that this it? Is that the whole thing? Yeah, right. Three. None of us know. Three. <laughs> I'm annoying. Three floors. <laughs> Actually, um, Zal, uh, wait a minute. I have an idea. This is an attunement. Haha! -ha! Zal takes off the helm of comprehend languages and hands it to Peach. Just trust me. Oh, I'm wearing. Do, I don't you know if I can wear this in off. my circlet. Fuck! <laughs> and you, the circlet, I believe, yeah, is stuck. attunement. <laughs> you're stuck, my dude. Yeah, Just accept it. Good luck with our later. 
<laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I never asked for any of it. So. Well, you know what? Technically uh, speaking, so... when you said yes to playing D and D with me, shit, yeah, yeah we right. did. We all <laughs> did. <laughs> Josh Don't give me the... I have your contracts. Um, uh, so Zal's just kind of puts the circlet back on. So, um, uh, yeah, that's the third floor. Yeah. Great. Um, and how many? You said there's there's only three floors, correct? Three floors. See that? Each there's only three floors. So. Ooh, I really any... don't want you guys to die. That's all. That's it. Hey. Um. Beach said, uh, "Good information, and don't die." Yeah, I'll try not to. He responds in draconic. He just he constantly speaks to all of you as if you can understand him, and never oh. understands anything anything any of you. So, say. Cool. can I ask you a quick question, Jean? Yeah. What up? Do you know common at all? I'm a cool guy, he says in like this really thick accent. Hey, it's a cool guy. <laughs> what? He said it too, he says in Draconic. We are cool guys. Hey, two wild and crazy guys. <laughs> I don't know what that other part was, but I like him more every time he talks. <laughs> sure, he likes you a lot too. Um, so, our plan is to wait until dusk, and then swim down and search tomorrow, right? I'm saying that right, right? Nighttime. You're going to do it in the night. Nighttime. Yeah, tonight. Tomorrow? Is it tonight, or is it tomorrow? It's tonight. tonight. You're, it's probably, tonight. after all of that, about 11 a.m. right now. In about 12 hours. <laughs> oh. We'll be fine. Okay. Um, Unless we need to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably sleep beforehand. Yeah. You guys want to try and take a long rest? Get eight hours of sleep. Uh, I want to ask Oceanus a question first, and then sure, I will go to bed. So? Question for you. I was about to say. Uh, that was Josh. <laughs> Demi. No. Uh, okay. Question for you. Yeah. Um, just because you probably know things that I don't because you lived on the ocean. Um, is it normal for an island to sink like 100 feet in three months? No. Do you know anything that could do that? Yes, but... I mean, those are like... very... specific, man. Uh... Expand your thought... Explain. My people worship a god. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. The god of one. <laughs> we have a drink. There's like nothing to drink, man. <laughs> the god of moment. Or one just shakes ocean. <laughs> um, Snap out of it! You're ruining this family. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the god. No. So my people's god is Deep Slash, um, Sashelas. Excuse me, Sashelas. Um, they have incredible power over the tides and the seas. On bad days, have been known historically to sink cities. Gods, historically, I've never uh -huh. witnessed it. Is that how like sea elves? Is that like a historical thing? Why you guys have cities under the water? Is that just like a sink other people's cities under the water? No, it's more of a tactic. What? Uh, the sea are the sea elves aren't. I I'm trying to understand. The sea elves aren't fighting, by the way, no. because the crab people are. In crab people. The co coalinth co co co. Yes. Co We're fighting co with coalinth. We, you knew that. You no, no, no. We're not fighting against. They're with us. But like, we are not. We they didn't get the sea elves to fight because. Just watch your backs. They're not going in with me. You watch yours because I think you're the only sea elf here. Sorry. 
Yes. Um, Makes sense. Also, uh, somewhat glad for that, but never mind. I have too many things going on for you to. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not uh, intentionally obtuse. I just, it's a lot. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am under a lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> um. Just, anyway. Thank you for the heads the, up about the colon. You're welcome. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, anyway, figured I'd ask you because I, that's the best lead that any of us have had. Why didn't anybody else know about that? Also, what? have I, uh, the sea elves worshipping a god that can sink islands? I mean. Nobody else really had any ideas. It's not like a, like, I'm over 200 years old and it never happened in my lifetime as well. It's not like a, a thing that happened. On well, it has to happen during somebody's lifetime. Um, I don't know. It's just not like we go around sinking islands. But... I would hope not. Inside check. <laughs> You're not <laughs> there, Martin. <laughs> Other terrible um, things sometimes, but what does that I, you know, I've only met me and Peach Ganassi wise, and I think we're doing fine. But um, uh, yes. Um, the general idea that makes sense. Okay, so I guess I guess I'll tell people that. I don't want to believe that somehow they're getting a god to sink an island. Also, why would they be- Oh, well, I guess they don't like being above the water, so that would make sense. There's like a bunch of islands. Why didn't they just take one that wasn't- Never mind, this is me thinking out loud. Thank you for it's the, the god nice information. Island. Oh, well, that's- Yeah, hopefully the uh, underground tunnels that I'm going to die in are very- uh, Um. Try not. Try not I'm to good die. to go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I like that he walked away, but I think he's supposed to be manning the till. Yeah, he just... <laughs> right, sorry! It comes back. Yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> alright. Well, we'll pretend that didn't happen and I'll walk away. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Um, okay. She will... Are they within 120 feet of the Arcadia, or no? Um, They're probably, probably farther 400 than that. 400 feet out from the Arcadia. Okay. I don't want to use a third level sending spell. Um, and you can see now some of the other vessels are being arrayed out around the end. Okay. Um, <laughs> this seems like a good idea. Why not? Um, she's going to tell Carl? Ma'am. And Davith and Kent, uh, <laughs> she's going to hand them a piece of paper that essentially she has written out that says what Oceanus has told her, and she's going to ask them to sail it out to Admiral Hawk and then come back. Ah, uh, Captain. Thanks, Carl. Yeah, uh, so she. Well, uh, good to know. Um, glad I sent you, Carl. Uh, we're going to... I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> she's She's going to try and sleep. Okay. What's everyone else doing? Same thing? Different things? Uh, I'm going to try just real quick using my innate disguise self to turn myself into uh, one of the swagans and see if I can do that. How close I can get okay. before I actually go there and have to do it in person. Go ahead and do a history or a performance check. I'll let you decide. I've seen one of them, though. Yes. I just want to see how well you can remember what they look like. Performance? History or performance. History. Either you replicate or you're recalling and trying to mimic. It's either a minus one or a zero. Fifteen. Huh. Um, as you kind of stand there, you think back upon your captive, um, and you begin to project this illusion around you, shifting your form. If you'd like to tell me what that looks like, Matt. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just an innate ability. I think it just sort of like happens. Um, yeah. A, I will uh, say I can't grow a tail, so if they have a tail... They do have a tail, technically well. speaking. Um, so as you begin to form this, these long, thin-like blades 
protrude from your arms, which grow longer fingers with webbing between them. Your head kind mm -hmm. of begins to warp into this big maw, and this frill manifests on the top of your head. Um, you're still a little on the short side for most swagen, but but not terrible. Um, you, your skin becomes kind of this leathery, grayish green color. Um, and your eyes become these large, sideways, blinking mm -hmm. eyes. And as you attempt to, like, manifest a tail, it just kind of sparks some purplish, greenish sparks a little bit before then just sealing itself off as if the tail had been lobbed off, um, leaving you tailless. Oh, I got a tail cut off. Interesting. Uh, okay. I'm just sort of... Everyone, there's a swagging on your ship. Yeah, let's go. I will look. <laughs> Oh are we there? Are we, are we there? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> She's walking back and just... Roller. Make sure to go to bed. Good job. <laughs> she goes yeah. up the roof. Roller. John walks up. <laughs> Holy shit! That's the bad guy. That's nice. Miss Morton. Oh, you don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what you're saying. Hi! Nope, that's I just am Morton. a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, cool guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody goes to bed. Uh, and yeah. uh, is that is that the plan? Anything else anyone else wants to do in preparation? Okay, I'm all set. You are able to sufficiently get uh, a night's rest, but I am going to have the crew uh, and surrounding <gasps> folks roll some perception checks just to make sure, uh, because you are now moored in a war zone. Uh, Peach, what was that? What? What? Surprise! No. You raised your raised your finger. I thought. Okay, cool. Never mind. Oh Let's no, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just see. I like that you said we get a long rest and then we're like, but let's see if you're anybody. <laughs> yeah, we are napping in the razor. We're gonna, we're gonna sleep right. through it. I know. <laughs> what did you roll? All no. right, so. You guys get oh, no. your long rest. Oh, great. Oh, no. Love it. Nothing bad happens, and we wake up in a day <laughs> near, near the end of the long rest. Demi, you do hear a... Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes? And it's Oceanus. Uh, Captain. Great. Captain mm -hmm. Demi. Yep. Uh, swag and swarmed one of the smaller fishing vessels on the far side of the island. Sunk it. It... Did anyone Hawk survive? To get a hold of you. I don't know. I got one sending message just telling me what happened. Trying to very quickly. Trying to get a hold of me. I didn't wake up to his voice in my head. I guess I dreamt it. Um, dream, you know, dream, dream, I, dream, dream, dream. he's asking a lot of us. I do. I am sorry that that happened though. Um, but if he couldn't make it over there, I assume neither would we. Frustrated and sad, I think. I don't. Uh, I don't have well, the details. Anymore. Well, that's valid. Um, I was waking up anyway. It's okay. Um, great. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you, Captain. Oh. Oh no. Um. I guess everybody else is still asleep, right? Kind of, everyone's starting to rise. It's very near the end of that eight hour. I'm just curious if anybody else heard that or if she's gonna. Um, to who shares a cabin wall with you? Dahl Who's or the... Odophilia? Who shares a cabin oh. with who? On the falling star, your cabin, your back cabin, there's a cabin next to you. That's Oceanus. Oceanus. Oh, then you're golden. Yeah. That's, that's Oceanus next to her. Um, okay. Genesis cabin heard everything. Too perfect. I'm outside. So. Um, oh, Morton. You yeah, you were on the you were in the crow's <laughs> nest. Yeah, and your, your perception. You perception. Yeah. That, yeah. Um, Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. Uh, the only thing that Demi is going to do before they get ready to leave is ask Bims if he's going with her or if he's staying. Um. Then it doesn't have a swim speed. Great. Uh, she's going to. <laughs> Nor does uh, She's going to walk over to. Um, she's going to walk over to. Um, Oceanus again. Oh. 
Oh. Sorry, I keep doing this. Um, she's like gonna take Bims off of her shoulders and look at him, and project like him onto Oceanus's. Oh no! You're d I every time I get to getting smart, I do it. Um, and she's going to sing the little melody that means Oceanus and ask him to go settle onto Oceanus's shoulders. <laughs> Lands. Lick. Oh, um, yeah, sorry about that. All right, boys, take care of each other. <laughs> yeah. Got it? Yeah. Good. Stay Good. safe. Yes, well, I don't like unfinished stories, and you're vague, so I'll make sure to come back. <laughs> it was funny. It was. I just... Sure. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She will project the thought of missing him, and Hi. she will walk to find Morton. Right. Hello. Morton's on the deck. Hey. You found him. Beach, Zal, where are you guys? Morton's on the deck. You found him. I did it. Yeah, Zal's putting on his kelp armor, and uh, yeah, I'm going kelp armor since we're underwater now. Smart boy. Um, hot and smart boy sometime. Um... That's my boy. Uh, Zal's just looking at Ashi. So, apparently, this sank a um, hundred feet. We're diving. We we're diving like eighty feet, right? And then going in. That's what you've been told. Okay. You are quite a so ways what... out from the island. Like you've got to swim to get there. Oh yeah, that's fine. Um, I would place it at. Probably 2,000 feet. Well, that's fine. So here's what I need you to do, Ashi. Um, I know this new form of yours is really good at stealthy stuff. Especially invisibility. Sprites can go invisible. They can? Yes, they can. Um, and they're super dexterous. They have a plus eight to stealth. Um, <laughs> I need you to go through the top entrance and try to stay within a hundred feet of me, if possible. Okay. <laughs> if possible, if you can't, just okay. shoot me a message and get out of there and go back to the ship. Okay, so I go towards that door, and he points at the like big, like the entryway up on the stone causeway that's kind of visible. Yes. It's like smoking crater at the top of the thing. <laughs> Um, yeah. and then if I can't get in, I message you and... Yep. Also, try to scout as much as you can. If you get caught, <laughs> hide. <He goes> invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't even see you at this point, so uh, try to be invisible as much as you can. Boop. Okay, that... Yep. That's weird. But yeah. Just try to be as visible as much as you can. Okay, don't stop. You can. Okay. I uh, rolled a twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perceiving Ashi. Yeah. Okay, let me see you. With advantage. Oh my god. They get a plus eight. Uh, he just. You just suck. To you. <laughs> I say it to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> The boat says, whoa, dude. John kind of walks up and duck. Hey, I had a good nap. Nice hammocks. Zal, buddy, what are we doing? Still figuring that out. Demi, are you okay with Oshi doing a stealth towards the top? Um, Oshi, are you good with doing that? Boop. Did I get booped? Ah! I don't know if that was a yes or a no. Uh... Try. I don't. Try. I think it was a I'm joke. Invisible. All right. Well, as long as you're okay with it, I don't mind. It's your, you know, oh. your deal. What's up? I I asked what you felt comfortable doing, but I do appreciate it. Boop. Very cute. I'm gonna <laughs> guess that's a yes. <laughs> you know, it's better than the licking. So. <laughs> I love you. Run. <laughs> I love you. 
Just everybody dives off the boat. She's <laughs> yelling. <laughs> just yelling. <laughs> to him. Right. He seems upset. Uh, She's just gonna <laughs> telepathically let Bims know that she loves him. Alright. <laughs> so, so, also, Zal really quickly is gonna. He's gonna cast uh, water breathing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. On Morton. And Pigpen for sure, but then oh. ten, then eight of the other crew people. <laughs> what about Archie though? Oh, Ophelia. oh my God, you're so fucking smart. <laughs> hey, maybe Archie though. <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> that one though. Morton. Morton. <laughs> Ashi. <laughs> um, Pigpen, do you want Bims to come? Bims can't swim, either way. So Do you want them to come? He wouldn't keep up care. with her. I think that no, she's gonna she's gonna have Bims watch Oceanus okay, and yeah, vice Ashi's versa. Water breathing, and then Zal's gonna be like, I actually fuck that plan. You're just gonna come with us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! God damn. <laughs> um. So yeah, Morton, Ashi. Big pen. Uh Carl. Odophilia. Odophilia. Um uh uh junk. No, junk fuck junk. I don't give a shit. Um, He's also a lizard folk. I'm Megan not casting it on the cat. Come on! I will not cast it on the cat. I don't care. I quit. Um, so eight of the crew Heinrich. Odophilia, Heinrich, the key the, yeah. the, like basically the key members of our crew. <laughs> And pig pet. They yeah, also have water really breathing. Oh. <laughs> who who has water breathing? Also, they have water breathing potions. Is what I was saying. Yeah, for reference. That's this will just last for twenty four hours on all the people I cast. Um, don't die. But then also, oh, yeah, screaming. for the rest of them. <laughs> for the rest of them, they can all uh, they can all use the potions. Perfect. That's what I do, and it's but not concentration. Right. So the sun is beginning to set as you prepare yourselves uh, on the deck Gosh. of your ship. <laughs> Jog standing alongside you with a bow and arrow slung over his back and a spear in his hand. So, plan is, Jonk, we're going to swim there, go into the entrance, do our business, oh, search around. Okay. Let him he has know to that stretch. We're being sneaky and quiet. Sneaky. If you make noise, quiet. I swear to God, I'm a cool guy. Got this. Not what I. Demi is hanging up her fancy coat in her room, and she's changing her armor to be a pair of pants and a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> swimming. <laughs> she's in, like. Just... Cute, like riding pants and a shirt. Just like mobility, though. Okay, just here hard we go. John just does a pants, pants and I got scared. <laughs> pants on a shirt. Pants, pants instead of skirts. Like, Whoa. Uh, pants instead of skirts. That's what she's doing. Yeah, Zal's not bringing the jacket this time. Okay. Uh, because I'm not trying to get that shit wet. She's That's also nice. going to make her outfit as close to her skin and her hair, like water wise, as possible. <laughs> Ready to jump in? Yep, jumping after junk. Jumping mm. after junk. As oh, you down, jump, you all kind of hop in. And what was that, Sean? I'm sorry. I turned into a dolphin. You turned into a. Okay. Morton turns into a dolphin. A dolphin with water breathing, so it's weird. <laughs> oh, she grab onto Morton. The dolphin lays on the surface of the water for a bit, and then I forget, and then I go in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you all find yourselves jumping, crashing into the water, and going beneath the waves. You can see the outline of your ship up above you, and the vessels dotting the water above you now as, as the kind of quiet, dull silence comes around you and, and and that familiar feeling of for most of you being submerged by the water kind of returns it's not a um, overcast day uh, though it is beginning to get dark 
uh, and this orange hue hits the water and kind of lights up the space. Or how would you like to see? Currently, just ten feet below the water, under your own. Carefully. Okay. I'm. I don't know. Um. In front. I'll go after Morton. Okay. Morton. We have to keep our. We have to keep our. Do you have a swim speed now with the helm too? Thirty feet. Oh, you all have swim do speeds it. and can breathe in water except for me. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, you can turn into a dolphin. <laughs> And I have water breathing, so I just cast it on you, and then you get a swim speed, I believe. No, I just get the... Yeah, what's up? What's your marching order, guys? Me. I'm behind Morton. Demi. I guess Um, I'll fall behind Demi. I mean, we don't really have to be in a line because it's water. Um, That's true, but what what is your order of progression? (laughs) Um, Peach will just swim... um, are we heading directly toward the island? They'll swim, um... Are you? Between that. They'll just swim, like, kind of back and forth between Demi and Zal, um, on the side near the causeway. Okay, and so you're kind of them as best as off to the left flank. I assume Jonk is probably next <laughs> to Zal. Yeah, Jonk is kind of... God damn it. Just swimming along. A little bit behind What did Zal I do? Left. What did I do to you, Josh? You spoke. What did I... You know what? <laughs> what did I do to you to piss you off this week, bud? Nothing! Junk is a great sorry. character! Why you don't like I junk? knew I knew <laughs> he was gonna come back as soon as we started working with the lizard folk again. I tried so hard. Anyway. Oh, can he breathe into water? He has yeah. a period of time he can breathe in. Yeah. And I won't did give cast him water. About him. And I won't fuck give him water. You, bit junk, you it, didn't give him water breathing. Okay. No, I didn't, because fuck him. He has like he an is, hour. I think it's like he a He is our guide. Minutes. It's not helpful. It's 15 minutes. Oop. Oh, man. Cool. They live in, wait, what do you mean it's 15 minutes? They live in a colony that's half underwater. It's not they supposed to be half underwater. Well, no one told me that. In the water. So, as you begin Nobody to swim. Nobody told me that he didn't or have water break. Okay, yes. so how are, you said you're proceeding with caution. Does that mean stealthily? I, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, stealthily is a dolphin can move. My, okay, so my sight and sound. Everyone roll <laughs> stealth with me for me. Morton, go ahead and roll perception for me. 16 uh, plus um, 2, so 18. I have very bad stealth. Oh, shit. I just oh. realized. 13. Seven. Perception? Yeah, yes, perception, please. Uh, it's 23 with 60 feet of blindsight. Oh, you got 60 feet. It's going to go so well. And as you're, That's why pers- I shark. as you're proceeding, it's not quite that murky. You're able to see fairly a fairly good distance. Kind of, it as it, you look out towards the island, it becomes more obscure and difficult to see. But as you're currently descending, you can actually see about 200 feet beneath you um, the base of the water and Morton with that roll you catch something massive moving along very very slowly across the seabed and as you glance over there are structures moving and as you look a little closer there is a crab that is about 300 feet across shift along the water base and as you kind of gaze in a little closer you can see coalinth moving across the back of the crab through the structures you see crenellations and defensive positions you see weaponry and armaments affixed to the back of this creature it's a crab city crab (laughs) fortress Can we please get a shirt made that says, is this a crab city? So, just want to point out, the crab Colin city are currently on our side, correct? They are currently yes. on your side. Okay, I don't turn around. Call it crab city. <laughs> so, Josh, just... can I ask how far we are, or how long? We're, you said 2,000 so feet? You're about 2,000 you feet from the island. Away this from the crab entrance? fortress is about eight to 900 feet out, and then about 200 feet down from you. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, he said they need time to set up. Was would it was that for the crab? Was the giant crab fortress? That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm just imagining the war scene from Aquaman again? I'm yes, just fair. imagining sea elves and them fighting. It yeah, Josh, I'm imagining what the CR for this thing is. This 300 foot crab. <laughs> I'm imagining with, like, with what I imagine. Are you wanting to go to war with this call with the crab fortress right now, Morton? Is that no, no. I'm not. just saying it would be a useful tool to have. Uh, in you, you unfortunately, this... as you attempt to shift into a giant crab, you get the feeling it's beyond your current scale. I was just thinking about like in the future, maybe if it came up. I'd be like, hey, this is a, I got a fortress in my back pocket. You've seen some large creatures right now, and this thing is on a scale of Yolmir, who is well beyond any sort of gargantuan scale that you've seen before. Damn, Things under the cool. ocean grow big. We what really should have brought that. that. Yeah. Uh, you also see with that roll, Morton, Loacat oh aboard sea lions, um, <gasps> darting about. You catch the anchors of the vis vessels that are moored. And you do see out in the distance, in the kind of murky portions around the island, occasional shapes of large shark-like creatures. Oh shit. All right, I'll do some clicking and let everyone know that something's up. All right, um, oh, I'm gonna pack the side of him. Clicking? Oh wait, <laughs> I can, can I? No, that's awkward, Never mind. I can't speak that. I can't speak to this dolphin. Yeah. Oshan is good. I cannot speak to this dolphin. <laughs> as we start pulling away from our allies, when we stop seeing as many of them, we would like to cast um, Pass Without a Trace on everyone. Okay. Um, they didn't do it immediately because there were still oh, like... Oh, I need to do a stealth check, right? For yeah. other people around. And you're going to do that without the Pass Without a Trace, because the Pass Without a Trace happened. So you're going to cover some distance. I'm also distance ahead. Us. Probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you might help me. Um, it's the stealth of a dolphin. Stormcaller, we oh, are talking D&D sea &D line. Hashi uh, is on the back. Of I got a 10, board. but I am a dolphin. Canonically. <laughs> You're not as suspicious. Like, oh, it's a dolphin! Kill it! Okay. Dolphin with a little fairy on it. We, we established <laughs> this after the episode, by the way, chat. My apologies. The sea lions that the Loacath ride are the D and D sea lions, as in yeah, large big monstrosities things. with these crazy flowing mane. They're essentially literal lions of the sea. Which is um, dope. Yeah, it's just it's so cool. See Loacath astride them on these weird mounds. Do yeah. so you approach? You are able to, as you kind of close in, you gain that about 500 feet of distance, putting you about probably about 500 feet from the murky depths around the island um, and mm -hmm. about 40 feet down. Got another 40 feet of ascent and 1,500 feet of travel before you reach what you assume is the base of the island. Um, gotcha. As Peach, you hit Pass Without a Trace, I will allow you all to re-roll stealth. Uh, Morton, do you feel Could like you would be in range for that? Um, I'm moving twice their speed. Probably. I mean, I'll slow down a little bit, but not like I want to scout ahead. Yeah, you're, I would say you're trying to maintain that distance. <laughs> it's better. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. It's 12. plus ten, right? It is. Yes. Fourteen. You roll a one. Oh. I rolled a two. Okay. Plus oh, two. Okay. Thirteen. Did you oh my roll god! <laughs> I rolled a three. Okay. I paid everything. <laughs> I'm so glad that we had passed without a trace, and we still suck. As you guys are descending, Jonk keeps trying to have like hand conversations with Demi and Zal, which is a little distracting for them, and it's making it a little difficult. Jonk, what the fuck are you trying? We're on a mission. You open your mouth, and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Just imagine him saying my wife a bunch. <laughs> my my, my. As you oh, He just keeps just... going like this and looking exasperated. <laughs> so the water here is not tropical or warm. It's 
fairly cold, not frigid, um, but it's it's bracing, uh, and it gets cooler as you descend. Uh, and visibility is becoming a little more difficult for most of you, Morton. You're having an easier time. Yeah. Uh, you actually get, don't you get dark vision from that? I have blind sight, which means anything within 60 feet. Of me. Sorry, I meant Pete. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Pete, your visibility is also fairly good for about 60 feet as well. Morton's got some very good. Okay. Okay. You are now reaching the murky edge of the island here. Oof. Morton, roll perception. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, that's a natural 20. Okay. Um, with your echolocation, you get a particularly good reverberation and yeah. it bounces all the way off of the island. And you're actually able to gauge the distance through the murk between the island and your little... Ooh. Um, you're about 800 feet out. You're not sure exactly where the entrance is. And I'd like you to make a survival check now to determine where you are in orientation to the island. But with that perception, you don't see any swagon in the close proximity yet. Or sharks. Or sharks. You're not seeing any threat. Uh, survival is 23. 23. Okay. You're mm. pretty certain that you're on the side of the island you're supposed to. You're on that nice. causeway side. And as even as you kind of look up a little bit, you see the outline of the causeway above. Mm -hmm. You're about 60 feet deep now. Okay. You can see it up there above you. And so you just head inwards towards the island. I had them. I do a lot. I do a little loop, and then I keep going. Okay. You proceed through the park. Um, yes. Through your existing perception, you do see at one point the outline of a shark, though it seems like um, riderless, cut no. underneath, around the edge of the island, about probably 60 feet deeper, well below the point where you're there. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of about just along the edge of the island, so probably about four or 500. It doesn't okay. seem to matter. It cuts around. Okay. You continue slowly make your way. Doesn't the seem island. to. I grow scared. Um. <laughs> really um. I didn't sign up for this. I go on the island. I'm in there. What now, how far are you from the party? Because Peach is able to see a certain distance, but for the others, it's quite difficult now. As they, I have dark move. vision. Oh, it's how far 60 am I? Feet, right? Sixty feet. Yeah. How far are you? I was probably keeping like um. I would say probably keeping like a 60 foot almost. So you guys can just, those of you with dark vision can just make out Merle. No? Yeah, I'm basically like going up, going back, going up, Merle. going back. It's Merle, he's come to help. I, uh... I'll come here to help you. <laughs> my, girl, my, my girl can't see. So yeah, before it gets not. super dark, she's going to hold Peach's hands. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to be like, can't see shit. And a thousand <laughs> more ships sailed. Oh, friends can hold hands, friends. We have a full armada of a thousand ships. Uh, yeah, we watched all the Oceanus monsters sink. <laughs> friends can hold hands. Friends can hold hands. Yeah, I, would guide. Like, I would like Peach and Zal to make perception checks just to keep track of them all. You know, he's coming kind of back. I mean, oh no. my stealth check was at 12, so... Sure, you're not very stealthy. Not that Dang hard. It. I'm not perceptive, I'm sorry. <laughs> Adam? Wow. I'm a ghost. I'm a There's ghost. a moment Great. of panic as you lose sight, and Jonk's just kind of, like, treading water. You all kind of slow for a moment. Can I... Oh wait, shit! That as soon as she leaves, as soon as she can't see Morton anymore, you could. I guess see Morton, wait, she period. can't see Morton to begin yeah, with. Never mind. Until somebody says sight. anything, yeah. she's. Well, nobody can say anything because you all can't communicate because you're under the water. 
Um, yeah. I can talk. Are you able to speak under the water? Is that a function of your... I'm pretty sure. You get a swim speed. It doesn't say you can speak underwater. It's a question. That'd be weird. Yes. I have a question for you. I could so be... I canonically said Ashi is on Morton's back. I don't know. That's true. Can I ping where that is? Or is that, like, cheating? You have a general idea of where Ashi is, yeah. Okay. Oh, that you And you now see... Morton's cutting back towards you, and you and make I, I kind of line with him again. I kind of hit all of them real quick and point in that direction, since we're kind of moving as a group. And then I'm like, you know, trying to signal out to where he is, okay. since I can't speak because I've tried it. I'm just I don't, know. Dad. I don't think Ganassi can speak under. I, don't I know there's the water that. language. John, you look like you have something. Some ways travel further underwater. That doesn't they make do language, do language do. intelligible. Oh, I'm <laughs> right. so the medium the human water. speak above uh, water is air, because that's what's in our lungs, and that's what we use to move our vocal cords and transmit sounds through. I if see. our lungs are filled with water, because we can breathe water, would we not then be able to use those to transmit our sounds? No. It doesn't say Shit. anywhere on their stat blocks that they can this speak is, underwater, this is so why they do not speak way. underwater. <laughs> this is Unless it says they can speak underwater, <laughs> I won't allow it. Alright. Um, Sorry. But he, he's coming back and forth. So you we do can see him, him now in and then reappearing. Like Zal sees a, catches him a little sooner because of his ping to Osh. And so you terrifying. continue to proceed. Through the I market. hate this. I'm terrified so much right now. Zal. Uh, uh. Zal. Hey. And Peach, I need you to make a perception check as you now see, just ahead of you, about 60 feet, the island. A sheer black rock face. Now I need to ascertain where this entry is. 15. 15? 16. 15. I rolled a 16, so 15. Okay. I have blind sight. Just want to remind you. You have blind sight. Uh, 25. It is difficult to see. Very difficult. Facts is all. Each. You can't see it all. Zal, Jonk is pulling on your sleeve and pointing at something, which distracts you as you're attempting to look. Peach, you're staring intently at this this cliff face and you're not seeing anything more I like this <gasps> you catch a tiny little crevasse that is obscured by this flowing piece of seaweed that's probably about five feet thick and ten feet wide that is wafting in the water you can see there is a small it's like a cave behind you. and you're only really getting that from the bounce back it's delayed slightly in that portion of the wall. Okay. Interesting. Um, and I can still see them with my... Are they still my 60 feet? Yes, you're actually... You've gotten a little closer to them now. You're like 30 feet away from them. Okay. Then I will go back to where I see them. And just sort of like do little motions and happy sounds. Oh, I'll stay closer this time now that I know where I'm going. You begin to proceed and make your de- way downwards towards the cave. Mm-hmm. Morton, did that earlier perception. Out beyond most of, well, nobody else would be able to see it, and they don't seem to be catching you. You can get the feedback shapes of sharks going, <sighs> circling around this whole island. I feel like you've managed to dodge it for now as you head towards the seaweed. Approach. Just heading straight into the cave. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to make sure they can see the opening, too. Uh, as you get within probably... F- so, Zal, Peach, you're able to see it now with Morton's guidance. It is very well obscured. Um Demi, it's not until you're about 15 feet from this thing that you're just able to make out even the seaweed obscuring it through the gloom. This 
hazy water. Peach just guides her in. Heading into the cave. Yes. Uh, I would no. like... Who's going first? Me. Okay. Morton, I'd like you to make a dexterity saving. <laughs> you old so-and-so. <sighs> Shit, what's a dolphin's dex save? Not great. I'll tell you that right now. For some reason, dolphins aren't dexterity. Nobody's seen a dolphin show the road D&D. Okay. As you begin to cut your way through the seaweed, it's this weird strand-like stuff with these arms kind of wafting and these little balls, these little bulbous nice. ends to them that float. And you're like, well, I'll just push my way through them. And as you begin to get through, you get tangled into it and you find yourself wrapped up in this seaweed caught there in the water somewhat exposed it's very murky but the rest of the party you see morton now entangled in this seaweed zal grabs jonk his shoulder and like points and then pulls the scimitar and starts cutting pulls the scimitar and starts cutting away at the seaweed around so as you and jonk begin it's apparent that this is going to take some time. It's a very big patch of seaweed. Would you like to proceed with this plan? Is, <laughs> is there a way to assist Demi? Uh, can't ask her. Um, For me to see? Well, uh, to get she can her see. She, she can to. sit 15. She can see it now. It's just that she can't see things until she's right up on them. So right. you're all able to see what's going on. You're all now aware. You're just on the exterior there... of this island. Morton is caught in this web of seaweed. Do you... um, is, can Peach try to help untangle him? I don't think they do. What was I that don't know. Then? Can Peach do anything to assist helping untangling him? You can start like... cutting as well. Uh, I'm going to have you all... One of you roll athletics with advantage. To see how quickly you get this. I don't and as you're standing there, Jonk starts to go. 22. Shit. Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck. 22. Um... Kiss him. Give him the kiss of life. <laughs> I'm a dolphin. Kiss. <laughs> okay. okay. So 22 to extricate um, Morton. Good um, word. Thank you. Um, and then, uh, can they try and like yank junk and like get him through the um, entrance? So, you, it takes about eight minutes to cut Morton ah. free with that one. Oh, John's ah. dead. At the four minute mark, is planning to leave. How, um, free. Um, how large of an area is the seaweed? It's about 10 feet across. It's probably 15 feet tall, and it's about 5 feet deep. Um, can I freeze a 5-foot cube of what? A, can I, like, shape water to help them, like, make it brittle when they're hitting it? I'll go that way, yeah. If the water in that cube freezes, but it's just like, I don't know, it'd float because it's ice. Yeah, ice know. goes. It would Great. certainly make it, you could freeze, it kind of would make the seaweed more rigid. At this point, that was, Junk does I turn freeze it. and begin to swim away quite Can rapidly. you do mouth to mouth resuscitation with like water breathing? Is that a thing? I don't think so. I don't think so either. You don't have any air to water. give him. Water. <laughs> you just blow more water into his I <laughs> really are gonna regret not having him the tunnel Junk system is out uh, as you begin to freeze the ice no instead of it taking me. eight minutes no I did we're pushing five after minutes after we were in the water you and we were lucky swimming thus far I said junk before we dove in the water we okay. remain lucky we go I it. want you all to roll one more stealth track to see how quietly you do this. Morton, still have as you're... a trace for this an hour. Okay, yes, you still have passed on a trace. <laughs> Morton, as you're tangled and kind of just turned on your belly, gazing upwards to one side, you can see the figure of a shark with a rider much closer this time. 
Dope. We still have plus 10? We still have plus 10. 21. I don't, correct? Even though they're right up on me? I think it's when they cast the spell. Yeah, isn't it when you cast? It is. uh, I think it is when I cast. Let me just. Let me do this hefty math real quick. That's a six for Zal and a seven for Mike. No, that's a 14. Oh, okay. Um, Mine is this. I changed dice. I think it is when I cast it. I got a fat L from my perspective. Everyone else sees the other way around. Well, okay, wait. I'm I've not changed sure. Dice four times today. A veil of Did shadows that. and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection for the duration. Each creature you choose within thirty feet of you has a plus ten to dexterity. So is that when you cast it, or is that for just... the duration? Every creature within thirty feet of you choose that you choose. That's so, yeah. So when you right. cast it, or... I mean, it, well, if it's an aura, like the way that aura, that works to me is you get to so because it's like a Nazi but... thing. Because it's well, I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's merged with stone. It's slightly <laughs> well, yeah, but it's like written weird. Oh, is it right? It's written weird. I thought so. It, it doesn't weird. sound like regular. It's well, yeah. we'll allow it for now, Morton. Go if it doesn't say at the time, time of casting, then I'm wrong. It doesn't, it say, doesn't at say at the time of casting. Okay. Okay. So plus ten, Sean. Seventeen. <laughs> Morton, as you're kind of watching this, you can see the figure, this murky figure, slow. Just above you. And then it begins to move again, cutting away. As you are broken free from the seaweed. Right inside. <laughs> Get inside, okay. You've so now immediately whip inside. cleared enough of it for the party to fairly safely enter the seaweed. And I think that's a really good time for us to take oh, a break. No. So, yeah. chat, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Stay Damn, with us as we, we begin to infiltrate this island fortress of the Swagen. Okay. Ooh. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, dude.
Is this the Avengers of Shark Boy and Lava Girl? It's the Avengers of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Add more. Yeah, they lava. died in this Got cave, it. but we're gonna find them. No. So we had left our party uh, traveling through the murky deeps around this island fortress towards a supposed a supposed secret entrance, which they seem to have been able to find. Unfortunately, their lizard folk companion was unable to hold his breath long enough and had to leave them. Um, so now they find themselves under the water in this quite dark cave, um, unable to really speak with each other and a little bit stuck as they look around them. Again, this is very dimly lit here. It is a normal sort of cavern. It's very much, um, uh, even at this glance, you can tell that this has been submerged, that it started above the water. Um, undersea caves are kind of more sp specific. The floor to this cave is quite flat and then arches up into a kind of traditional cave shape. It is though a naturally occurring cave with just some minor observations. About mm -hmm. 20 feet from you, across where this kind of open space is, uh, is another cave leading deeper into the island. It appears to be the only entryway. The ceilings here are about 10 feet. And the ceiling of that little cut that you see in front of you, that only other way forward, is only about 5 feet hot. Now you see 10 feet by 5 feet, and it's quite a narrow gap. How would you all like to proceed? Keep in mind, we're unable to communicate. That's what you think. Um, is Morton still at Dolphin? Beep! Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Peach will lead the way. Uh, wait. Oh, um, Peach will hand, uh, Shoot, no, I have to guide people. Um, I mean, I can guide. I'm right next to Demi. Yeah, Peach will um, move um, Demi's hand into Zal's. Important is it? I should probably go first. Part, I just I love it, damn it. Okay, well, if, if Morton's leading the way, then Peach will... <laughs> Actually, how do you want to do this, Josh? Because to, to be able to see, I do have to make noise. Oh. Echo yeah. location is high pitch. We'll say you have to make noise, but you can see further than the noise reaches out. So if you're okay. echo lake locating, and I'll say, and I will know if this is happening or not, if you're within sixty feet of an enemy, they'll be able to hear you doing it. But your echo, or wait, the echo is sixty feet. So if they're within forty feet of you, they'll hear you doing it. But you can see yeah. sixty feet with it. That is gotcha. your choice how you proceed given that information. Because the sound kind of dissipates to almost inaudible at those further reaches. Boom, okay. quick DMing. Okay. I like it. So Peach will look at um, Morton to see if they're like if they're heading that way first, otherwise e they'll right. Yeah, I'll go first. E e oh. you Peach proceed will forward. follow. As you look down this very short, five foot tall opening that's about 10 feet wide you see that it angles off to the left as you are traveling okay continue a little further down hallway Ooh. very tight narrow it's dark very long turn there are again you're not seeing like you would expect in a sea cave for there to be shells and, and things like that. You do see the occasional school of fish um, swimming past little swarms, skittering by these little silver, silver scaled. Beyond that, again, nothing. it's quite apparent that this was not low water. I'm gonna. If I don't hear anything coming from around the corner, I want to go around the corner. Go around the corner. E and again, catch sight of an angle. E As you look down, about... about it's a drink. 40 feet. Again, 
corridor in this tight, narrow little cave hooks back going directly southward. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna begin cautiously, slowly swimming down the hall. Give others time to keep up. I know that it's dark for her either way, but is the water still gross and murky, or is it clear again? Um, the water is uh, in here still very gross and murky. Um, it's also there is no light. Yeah, he's still back by the door, so it's pitch black. Well, I handed We've her. Been her. We've been guiding Demi. Oh, yeah, okay. they're you, both leading me. On roll 20s yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry. We're just hand in hand skipping through this water. Boop. I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Um, <laughs> yes. To see the wizard. Okay. Uh, it is. It is not only is it murky down here. It is also pitch black where you currently are. There is no lighting. Okay. There is nothing in this tunnel. But everyone else can see except for me because everybody else has like dark vision. Dark vision or blind. Oh, she can't. Can I feel that it's gross? Um. With your kind of familiarity with the water, yes. It does okay. seem... And actually, roll a perception check with me. There's a lot of... Perception? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 13 plus 5, 18. Hmm. As you kind of are using your senses other than sight, there's the slight metallic taste of blood that you catch on the... T- oh, shit. Rude. All right. Um, oh, shit. Would I know from where or like in what direction of current? Hard to tell. Uh, there isn't a lot of current here. It's fairly stationary water. Dark vision's also in black and white, so we wouldn't be able to see red water. Smart. Smart DM. Smart I'm DM. Not. Oh. She was planned. Blood in the water. Um. So. Oh, that's why he played the song for us. That's a different one, but <laughs> I, I was doing the one from Legally yeah, Blonde. Yeah, Legally oh. Blonde, the but, lawyer. Yeah, <laughs> but valid. Um. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's that was my question. I I won't do it yet because I don't want to do the thing where I do it continuously. Continuously, but shape water, I can like change the opacity. Of the water capacity. throughout. Capacity. Thank you. Are you planning to do that? Are you going to do that right at, here? At, at some point. So if I feel like it, it makes the water around you clear and then it is immediately murky. Yeah, that's what I figured. I yeah. wasn't going to do it now because I want to do it if I need to. Oh, so you're not doing it. I'm not doing it right now. How no. would you like to present? That was a. I'm, I'm wherever people lead me. <laughs> Poor Parker. The edge of Parker this. can't do shit gonna slowly or slow down. as you reach that corner shit you do hear the muffled <laughs> sounds of voices you think in the water ahead you can't see them you also see there's a huge stone slab that is knocked forward into the hallway as you're looking at it like there was a sort of stone doorway and there is now very clearly a taste of blood in the water around you, and there are little bits of something floating through the current. And as you look at this stone that's kind of been knocked forward, something large is pressed up against it, unmoving. Oh, e? yeah. E. Where is something big to interrupt? I'm going to very slowly move around the corner unless something stops me. Okay. You approach this stone slab, and it's difficult to see. It's been dislodged, and there's kind of, like, gaps, and you now kind of see, as you're looking at it, throw me a nature check. Oh, come on, Josh. Don't embarrass me like this in front of the audience. (laughs) Uh, Dirty four. There's some sort of big sea animal wedged up against this wall from the other side. E. Makes sense. I don't know any sea animals. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm just sort so of. Is this, is this like stone slab preventing us from getting in the next room, or is it? 
It's like knocked out. You, it's knocked askew. You feel like if there weren't a mound of flesh pressed against it, or if you were to move that flesh in some way, shape, or form, you might be able to enter this room. But as it stands, as you look, this is a huge creature, whatever it is. And as you get this close, the blood and the viscera filling the water around you is coming from this creature, which is not breathing. What does, what can we see of the creature? Just it is about, as you look at it, it is serpentine. <gasps> It is my people jet black. My people! And it is in its body, widthwise, probably about ten feet across. Like Oh from... God. My people. And it is wedged against the Well Okay. Um... Ten foot serpentine like creature. Jesus. Length from kind of head to toe very hard to tell, but maybe about 15. So there's no way through the door? Can I squeeze through? Can we, like, try to squeeze As you walk through? up, Zal and Morton, or Peach, who's who's walking up to the door? Peach. Peach. It is very I'm tight, so I'm gonna remind yeah. you all that I'll, you have I'll five die. feet of headroom, and it's ten yeah, feet I'm, wide. I'm, oh, I'll I'm, go up to five feet. Can I be vertical? Because we're underwater. So you're I mean, stacked vertical? like this, and then Peach yes. is next to them? Yeah, like Scooby we're Scooby the doing door, it, dude. But in you the can. Way. It is very I'm, difficult to move. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna be at the very back because I can see nothing. That's wise. Okay, so Zal, Peach, yeah. Morton, you are now all very close to this thing. You get the feeling it'd be very hard to like maneuver uh, given your current kind of positioning, but. I can't swim backwards. You also can't swim backwards. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh, <laughs> as you're kind of, I mean, you're seeing what I've described to you. You're right. seeing a large so, mound of well, some sort of flesh pressed against a door that appears to have been dislodged. Uh, roll investigation check for me. Any of you looking closely now? Seven, thank you. No, oh, Adam, that's a seven. Seven. What the actual fuck is happening today? That's a six. I need you guys to roll better. Yeah. I'm honestly, <laughs> I need to roll. I rolled the, Hang on, guys, I got it. Don't worry, Morton. Roll anything. Uh, sixteen. Morton. <laughs> <laughs> the others start looking, and you're like, meh. But then you kind of like look a little bit, glancing over their shoulder. You can see kind of through the gaps where these pieces of flesh. There's smashed rock and scuff marks and smears of blood. And it looks like this creature died thrashing around in this space. Pretty oh, shaggy move. So he died in this room. He never made it to the other room. Okay. okay. And it, it doesn't look like there's any space like I could just fit through. You couldn't fit through. You might be able to pull the stone towards you, that investigation. Or somebody strong might be. Yeah, able. somebody who's not a say, dolphin. Can I? So can Peach back Morton up since Mork, Morton <laughs> seems to not be able to like. Can you figure out my note page real quick. Morton slowly drifts backwards. <laughs> All I imagine All right. is Debbie's just view of like murkiness, and then you just see a dolphin slowly okay. sliding back. <laughs> 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 backwards. Oh. <laughs> All right, Peach is going to try and pull it. Athletics check for me. Okay, that's a 15 plus 6. 21. Aren't you all glad you have a swim speed? 21. Yeah. Yes. Um, no. Peach, you kind of get your arms around this and you pull it. And there is a gift. Uh -huh. And I now need you to make a dexterity saving. Fuck. Okay. Josh! You tricked me. You said I'm free. Save? Much? Say, uh, save or check. Save. 19. Okay. As you move the rock, 
the weight of this creature comes with it, and the weight of the stone, which you are anticipating, has several hundred pounds more, several hundred pounds more, pushed onto it as you kind of catch your feet against the floor and kind of dexterously shift the stone, using the water uh, a little bit to help you as well to move the stone quietly, without making any noise, to the side. There's a gentle thud, and this body, including this large head with a long hooked jaw, flops down into the space in front of you. There's a dead giant eel floating <gasps> in the water. I study. No! No! That makes me really sad. I like eels That's a lot. That's Samore. That's rude. <laughs> That's what that is. This is a dead creature. Very, very dead giant. The eyes have gone completely white. Oof. Okay. Strange. Um, so scooting that rock, do we see any more of the space that we've been traveling toward? As the eel kind of flaps, flaps, flops flaps. forward, <laughs> and you move to the stone to the side peach, you are able to see what looks oh. to be and it is quite badly damaged. It's difficult to see everything going on with the body and the viscera of this creature. But on the other side of it, you see bronze doors that appear to be barred. And this looks like a helping oh. cell. This thing was an accident. And as you look around the space, whereas the cave you're in seems quite natural, this holding cell looks to be purposefully cut stone and even has stone work and facing added it's not ornate because this appears to be some sort of holding cell but it is crafted can Demi see the eel now um actually you would need to step forward with your visibility. fuck my whole life I'm just gonna boop Bring can I see orb. it now I the light orb. <laughs> yes <laughs> I just, uh, yeah. I, as now, also, the voices you heard? Yes. They're louder. Coming from through that bronze gate and to the right, you hear sounds of creatures' voices muffled, but speaking through the water in tongues similar to that of the swagger. Ah. Uh, I was going to ask, does Demi know if giant eels can swim backwards? Make a nature check? I just, I'm curious. <laughs> if you know. It says 17 plus... Oh, what's my nature? What? I never roll this. Two. 19. Uh, just given the context of Morton, probably not. Okay. So, Can I see you? I mean, I guess they're gonna... Okay. Imp I, so it looks like this eel came in and got lo like lodged here? No. What? No, it roll got killed. Well, roll an investigation check for me if you're trying to ascertain. That's a natural 20. Oh, shit. With my little blind eye. This eel, as you look, there right is up on blood it. on the bars. There are tooth marks against the bars. This creature was put in here and confined. Ooh. That's disconcerting. Alrighty. I'd like you all to roll stealth for me. I was going to ask real quick, just for context, how wide across are these bars? Are these, like, would this um, be, like, a human cell? So you've got, cell? Like, like, six inches. It, a human, okay. a humanoid could be held within this. this That's what I, I didn't know if this was, like, a creature pen or, like, a, in you fact, know what I'm saying? It's incredibly inhumane to have put this creature in here. It barely fits. Aww. That makes me eat. Do we still have class without a drink? It makes me really sad. You do. Oh. Uh, That's 12. <laughs> 24. 20, 20. 12. Natural 20. one. Natural one, Morton? You got a nat one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a Morton. 12 for me, and that's a two. Not an As I, you guys have never heard a dolphin sneeze before. Oh my god. A piece god. of viscera gets caught <laughs> up your nostril, and there's like a. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How a dolphin sign. And the voice is Morton. You hear. Krech. Krech. Deep. Josh, as that happens, Zolf flicks the like coil 
Okay. Wait, we all can hear that, right? You hear, you don't know what it says, but you are able to hear it now, yes. Okay, Zal flicks the coil, and because you said it was like a, almost like a a cord going around his head. So he flicks it, and it kind of hums for a second, and that's him casting. Uh, It's kind of like a tuning fork, and it kind of hums until it just goes into his ears, and then he can hear whatever, like the hum kind of remains in his ears, and that's what the translation is. So it takes a moment as you're responding to them and then it tuning, but Mm -hmm. you catch... I don't know. I heard something in the cell. I will check. And Zal's like pointing behind the eel, like... What are you doing? She hides. Do we hide behind the eel? She hides behind the eel. Can I dart down the hallway? A little bit? Yes. How much time do I have? I got 60 feet. You got six seconds. All right, I will move my 60 feet. Find the eel. Dolphin it's disappears. Um, yeah, I disappeared down All right, go ahead. We'll give you new oh. stealth checks. Okay. For me? With Path Without a Trace still? Yes, with Path Without I'm out of it. You're out of there. You don't have to worry. Okay. You're out of line of Thank you. Better than fucking nothing. 18. 24. 16. Oh. As you dive behind, no. you're kind of hiding behind the eel. Something swims in front of the grate. Kind of looks up against it, expect inspecting the eel. So are you here? There's nothing. The eel died. We'll have to find something else for the arena. It walks back out of view. When he does that, I go point at the eel. Then I do like a circle. I'm just gonna do it, because he's like pointing, does a circle, and then it's like I'm gonna roll an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give them like uh, D D style language like, for this thing is in the arena. <laughs> uh, hold on. That'd be a twelve. <laughs> Do I know what he's talking about? Uh, you tell me with that intelligence check. Let me know. Thirteen. Thirteen. She's probably like, why is he talking about performing right now? I don't. I don't know. Hi. uh, Her inner thoughts are great. (laughs) All right. How do you want to proceed? Looks at Demi and just starts doing this to do like cast message on me, please. You have to whisper for message. But it's. I will say. You have to whisper. I it do work. I will allow any spells that require verbal components to still be cast oh. under the wall. Really? It would be completely <laughs> unfair to hamstring a, a caster like that. So Okay. So we'd all be fucked. So <laughs> message is fine, we're just Okay. That's fine. Hey, She'll can trip it. <laughs> well it's in her head now, since we're not worrying about vocal components, so I don't it, sound like, like that. You can't just converse, but you can yeah. use magic to converse because otherwise there would be sixty percent of you who couldn't do anything. Okay. So she'll Eat. take out the, the little copper wire. Okay. And just think what the fuck do you still have to <laughs> you say? So, I will say you do still have to move your lips and like Okay. You still have to do the verbal what element. The fuck are you talking about? You can respond to this message. <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting for it, honestly. Um, Swaggins outside. It's not sending its message. It's still it's twenty five. No, no, it's just a phrase. It's a brief message. Is it a phrase? It yeah, says a brief message. It I confuses me every time. Cantrip's like, better, but in a shorter range. Yeah. Gotcha. It confuses me every time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Swaggins outside. This thing is apparently an arena fighter. There's a fucking arena. Demi's sad. <laughs> and sort of like reaches out and pets its head. 
Demi's sad. Demi's she's sad. Just, she's just sad. She's just like, that's really sad. So uh, I'll kind of nods. I've also stopped being a dolphin. You've stopped being a dolphin. No, because I don't have a swim speed. Yeah. Fuck. This would be tough. Yeah. All right. Yep. This is a bitch of a dungeon. For me, because I don't have a walking For speed everyone. here. <laughs> Yeah. I can't well, even I use can't fly. see, and you can't swim, so... And I can't fly! <laughs> you carry me, and I'll see for you. <laughs> There's a power angle. <laughs> oh, um, goodness. Gabby, can we still hear the swagin? Like, can we still hear that they're talking where they were? They appear to be having a hushed conversation. Um, Zal, you would pick out... Uh, that they seem to be conversing Darn it. over what to do with this one. Did you see Big Bang Theory last night? This one? <laughs> this, this one? one. <laughs> can we... We can all hear that through the door, though, right? You but can, not, like, not, not what it is, but we can hear it. Saying. You can hear it, though, yes. You can. So these these underwater races that have grown up and adapted underwater, they can verbally communicate in these spaces. Can we... I wish Oceanus was higher level. He'd be really useful now. Um, can can I roll something to see if I can tell how many people are talking? Uh, investigation. Okay. Come on. Oh, well. Hold on. It's not the worst thing in the world. 14. <laughs> I rolled a 10. Sounds like maybe three. It's hard to ascertain. Um, I'm just floating. Uh, Is Morton like way back there still? I mean, yeah, I can't do anything. Can I swim up to the to the bars and try to lockpick it from the others? Like, put my hand through the bar and try to lockpick it. Hey, one one more stealth check. And then you can go ahead no. and make a from all of it. Uh, no, just from Zal, because Zal's putting okay. his hands into the room now as he reaches around to. Okay. He gives the door a reach. This will be great. How the actual Two, fuck? What dice are you rolling today? I've rolled all of them. You should get new ones. This is I... why I have so many. Listen. I <laughs> have like forty pairs, yeah. and I've rolled all of them. And it's Damn, not today. Today's and then not I rolled our day. On D &D you do have D &D your Beyond plus like ten. You have a plus ten. Fourteen. That's what I rolled. Hey, mm. you're okay. Like, with the plus ten makes it fourteen. I'm okay. Okay. As you pause, Ooh, shit. You're okay. We're friends. Go ahead and make that dexterity <laughs> check for me. Just is dex. it sleight of hand or is it just straight dex? Straight jacks? All right, cool. Not proficient with it. Thank you, Dice Gods. I know I've said a lot about you, but that's a 19. Okay. You hear door. <laughs> <laughs> and as you're looking at it, all the doors, they don't... As Well, this is the only door you've seen. This door... Slides like a barn door, back and forth. Mm. Does not back swing. Gotcha. Ah, like a prison cell. And I just, I look back at them, point at the door, and do one of these. I do dolphin twirls. Oh. You hit your head on the five foot ceiling that you're currently <laughs> 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 Oh man! Love you, buddy. I, <laughs> point, I point my little copper wire in the direction that more went. You, do you do you want to come back? Eep. The door's open. <laughs> it's I, telepathic. I don't I know don't what you can do. I don't have a language in this form, so I don't know how that would work. Can you so, still understand mine? It's not speak with animals. Ooh. I do still have my mind stats, but I can't speak a language. I will allow you to understand Demi. But not okay. respond. Okay. To I feel like that's I'll, a fair. I'll, I'll give a hearty <laughs> eep, and I will rejoin the group. Just okay. like eep. puts it the back. Door <laughs> is currently unlocked. Zal, getting that close to it, you are able to see a little bit more as you gaze out into 
this space. Or greeted. Whoops, that's. <gasps> you see even less! The murk is growing. I can't see anything. Join the club. I can't see anything. <laughs> the. Kind of beyond the murk that's in this cell, the water does seem a little bit clearer beyond the gate. And you see as you look into the space. Oh, that's just a bunch of animal shit we were swimming through. Long room. But that has kind of looks to be again handcrafted to be built to cut this way, intentionally designed, fairly new and fresh. To your right, by the east wall, rests an untidy pile of chains, manacles, leg irons, and a series of keys. You're able to catch that kind of along this this wall here. That I'm wall right here. Gotcha. <laughs> see also a few instruments that appear perhaps be for torture chairs with bands and straps on them hooked devices things like that and as you kind of cast your gaze down to the you see three swagen with their backs turned to you they are standing over some sort of creature which is affixed to one of the that is oh. off to your right. What kind of creature? Uh, it's difficult <gasps> to from here, but you're pretty sure. Oh no! Yeah. I look at, I look at oh. them, and I go. I can't see shit. Well, I look at them like we're in the same room still. I'll I be look... sad in a little bit. <laughs> Eep! I look. <laughs> Your eaves kill me every time, <laughs> and I can't. Like every time I want to, <laughs> it's so funny. E? You emote too much through one syllable. <laughs> uh, so Zal like turns around and goes three. I like that we're just paying charades. Three swagen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and this, and every prisoner. Every prisoner. <laughs> oh, he has to do charades for you to go like, oh, hold on. Hello? Um, <laughs> no. Who can't trip? Um, look at everybody else except for Demi. This is the signal. You have to do this. This is the signal. <laughs> I need to speak with you. <laughs> we are getting high later. <laughs> no, I was trying to message all of you. No, no, right, not guys. time. How do you want to proceed? Um, Peach yeah. is going to tap. Peach is going to um, take Demi's hand and tap the wire. The so, oh, ask, they're asking her to message. D did you need something? <laughs> do, we, do we rescue the Loakens or do we keep sneaking? Morton's here, so I'm gonna say we're gonna go yeah, help him. That's the right call. <laughs> <laughs> She's learning. I love Morton's here already. <laughs> you are currently all right. hidden. She's gonna if put her wire on. you plan to engage these guys, we are going to roll initiative. You all will get sneak attack, so none of them will go this round. Okay? Ooh, yeah. Dope. Sound good? Eep. Sure. Okay. Eep. Also, yep. Slowly slide yep. the door open. Go ahead and stealth that for me, Zal, if you're going to open God it. God damn it. <laughs> Josh, do you just want us to fuck up, bud? What a, this is, a little. This is difficult. A little bit. This is difficult. A little bit. Okay, thanks, guys. I asked Josh. Josh said, I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> This whole dungeon terrifies me. <laughs> we still have, oh, we still we have pass, here. right? They still, have pass. still have pass. You still yeah. have pass. Twenty-three, baby. I'm rolling better. Hey. The door. Good. Go ahead okay. and roll initiative four. Hell yeah, dude. Oh well, that no. Yeah. Great. That's on four different corners. <laughs> That's a 20. Ooh. Oh, hey. dang, son. 21 for the dolphin. 
No, give me just a second here. Scream! <laughs> <laughs> I cast Tail Whip. <laughs> get out of here, sharks! <laughs> I get a nose slam attack. I just go. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, dolphins kill sharks with that. Like, oh, I know. It's, <laughs> it's very thematic for right now. All I imagine is yeah, just, yeah, yeah. but it's Morton doing it. So all I imagine is Morton just pecking at it, going eep, 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 eep. eep, eep, eep. <laughs> this shark just being like, but for chat, for chat, while we're preparing for this wonderful battle, this is not entirely Josh's dungeon. Don't worry. I think it's a lot of Josh's dungeon, but isn't it? Does it exist or is this full home for you? This is this uh, the last main dungeon in Soul. Oh my god. Because so you said, I don't like this dungeon. And everyone's like, Yeah. He's not being down on himself. Wizards of the Coast no. built a lot of this. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I get a 25 to 20? Morton? 21. Anyone else? All right. 20 to 15. 15. Okay. Hell yeah, guys. Uh, 10 to 11, or 15 to 11, 10. 15 to 10. Hell yeah, guys. Okay. I love it. Um, 10 to 5. Ignore that. 9. A 6. Oh, like, please. Not great. Not great. Okay. All right, my friends. Morton, you lead the round. You know that uh, these creatures are before you and to the right a little bit. You currently have the opportunity of attack on them. Which one looks like they have, like, the weapons? The torture. They actually are all rather impressive looking creatures. As you glance around the corner, these are creatures who are quite proven in battle. Um, and they are wielding oh, no. some rather vicious looking weaponry. You see them carrying uh, these long, ornate spears upon their body. I go here. Okay, this dolphin <laughs> out around the corner. Yee! <laughs> and you said we have a surprise round. Does that mean you we do have, have a surprise round? Yes, you have advantage. Frick yeah, dude. Um, I don't know I'm giving you all sneak attack, which is oh, actually just fucks the for an order for the rest of them. Ha! Uh, I mean, it doesn't. I'm a dolphin. I've got dolphin stats. How'd you How'd you do? Does uh, fourteen hit? Uh, fourteen does not hit, unfortunately. Big old whifferoony. Kind of ugh, shifts to the side, and your lunge kind of misses as you pull back. Nice. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? That is my turn. <laughs> and as you swim out into the room, Morton, you are greeted by the full length of this sort of holding area um, before nice. you. Um, you see Is there anything in these cages? As you go grapes. past this cell, you see <gasps> a full growing sea lion. <gasps> and yes, it's the D&D &D variety. Penned. And its mouth is currently strapped shut with this big leather bite. I well, need it. You see two enough. other cages down there? Uh, you're not yeah. sure what's inside of them, but there are at least two more. Ugh. With that... This is a sin crime. It is this creature's turn. It goes, uh, what the fuck? Don't we have a... Yeah. We have a <laughs> and then we move on to us all. It's Wait, what about sneak the, is, oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, so, I was confused. So the way that surprise rounds work is they get turns. They just can't do anything with them. Yeah, they don't get action. So I can okay. I can do things with them to an extent. Yeah. Okay. I, I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Don't worry, I they got you They also can't take reactions. Yeah, they can't react either. <laughs> so, really? Zal, you are up, my friend. Great. I would like to move to there and i clicked the wrong one so zal's gonna move to here you know what i'm gonna eldritch blast these fools all right my friend rolled a hit uh cool, which one are you cool, eldritch cool, blasting cool, cool. uh i'm gonna eldritch blast the that that, that big one old on the south side there next to morton big i'm gonna boring. name him larry do i have an advantage on this you do um okay cool the ceiling in this space is about 10 feet high um just so you are all clear you have a little oh, bit I can more. go up? 
and go up. Hell yeah, dude. You can 3D stand maneuver. above each other. Five and five. Dude, Tower of nice. Pisa. So my first one fires off because I get the two blasts. Uh, my first one fires off and it is a 26 to hit. That hits. Thank God. And also, this Elder's Blast looks a little bit different than his normal one. Oh. It uh, looks brighter because now I have Agonizing Blast. Hey. Ooh, agonizing. So now it adds my Charisma modifier in. So that's 13. <laughs> I haven't had it until this level. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's 13 for that damage. 13 points of damage. Dude, I haven't used like half of my spells. I don't use... It has a very specific set of skills, and they're not good. Um, 13. And the second blast misses. Okay. What? It, well, go ahead and tell me what you got. A 12. That does miss. Uh, as your first strike catches true, but it kind of knocks the creature to the side a little bit, and your second blast kind of <laughs> scorches against the wall behind it, missing. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Uh, Zal, it does the lower kid hurt? Uh, badly, yes, and unconscious. Oh, oh no! Oh, not my friend! That. Not my friend! No, not in this household! I'm gonna heal that boy. I'm gonna heal him up. You're gonna heal him? I'm gonna hit him with my... Light. Bonus action him with heal. A little healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, how much are you hitting him for? Uh, I will do. I'll use two of my lights. So he heals for eight. No, yeah, eight hit points. You see, as he kind of. <gasps> <clears throat> and begins, like, instinctively, not really aware as he comes to conscious, tugging against the restraints that are holding him to this table. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Is that it? No, I'm just saying, I might flash the fangs just to, you know, make him get angry. But... Cool. With that, it is this one directly in front of Morton that Morton lunged at. And he yeah. kind of slowly turns and brandishes his spear. And it's Peach's turn. <laughs> All right, they're going to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And because they did that in a straight line, they're going to bonus action use Charger, which... Ooh. Um, yeah. Um, 18. Hits. 18 hits. Swimming Charger. Okay. Um, you see Peach. So pretty cool. Extra... <laughs> She's like, Ooh. They're going to use... I don't Five. They're going to do an extra five damage with that charger. So what's our total damage it. there? So our total damage is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus five, sixteen for the first attack. Ooh. So um, this one can be and then freak. And then they're going to swing at it again. Uh, ooh, fourteen. Uh, that unfortunately misses. As the first one, you catch yeah. it. Also, does charger knock it backwards? Um, I choose either knock it backwards or do the extra damage. So you did. So knock it I chose to hit it harder. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So you kind of see it take this hit, and as it turns now to look at you, this snarl growing on its face, you swing at it and it kind of, and they're quite agile and quick in the water as you slash at it. Anything else you'd like to do, Peach? Uh, yeah, yes. They are going to um, use an action surge to try and hit it again. Okay. 13 plus. Uh, slutty 20. That hits. All right. Not great. Two plus four, six. Six points of damage? Yeah. Yep. Okay. You kind of draw a little more of this brackish green blood. Catch the creature across its forearm. Your blade. Um, that year. Okay, and actually, I moved 25 feet, so can I move right here? You can, yes. The rest of my Cool, alright. So I will move in between those two swaggin. You can and then step I between fly. those two creatures there. Demi, yeah. you're up. It is dark for you, but there is dim oh, light shit. now kind of shining into the cell from this, this torture chamber that's been brought up. There are these little lamps positioned 
and they're like these weird kind of uh, they're like these anemone like creatures that are in these sconces on the walls that are letting off this kind of light blue glow into the space suffusing the area around that's how that's red so dim light uh it's actually just well lit oh so she can see and there's no murk here so you're good oh cool um she's going to cast armor of agathus at second level um water freezes around you and you suffocate i'm kidding cool uh (laughs) onto her armor so her hair is ice and all of her armor is ice very cool um and she is going to uh move to kind of where she can see a little better so she'll move actually into this hallway swim into this torture chamber yes nice um and then she (laughs) is going to pull out a little can i how do i cast bardic inspiration when i can't talk interpretive dance great good she's gonna look she's gonna look over at peach and just be like this that's it she's just like peach you feel motivated you feel inspired <laughs> I hate it. you're doing great sweetie and that's what she's doing that's her bonus action and movement that's it she's casting bardic inspiration at peach that's fantastic all right encouragement i can fight <laughs> okay so you are that is your turn demi Yes. The last Swagan again kind of looks around now, taking it all in uh, and realizing, my God. And he will actually take a step forward towards Zal and Peach. And then it is Morton's turn. It's me. Uh, I'm going to... Swim away from this person to here. Okay, it will take an attack of opportunity. Sure, go for it. Technically, all three of them would. That's true, and I think all three of them would definitely do it. Ha <laughs> I just rolled a natural 20 on this. Good for that. The first now I don't have to use my action reverting. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I cheated. So and you take all the reactions. We're gonna see how much damage that is first, because then the other two may hit you in your normal form. Uh, so the first well, batch of damage. Let's not get carried away. No, oh, sorry, buddy. Um, so that would get the two. You take thirteen points of piercing damage. Oh, I'm sorry. No, eight and ten. Yes, thirteen points of piercing damage on the. Thirteen points of damage. Sentinel. I am no longer a dolphin. You're going to sentinel attack off that, are you saying? Can I? Um, since they're swinging at my ally who is next to me. You're um, taking an attack action, so yes. The peach, as okay. you move to do that, Morton, as that spear mm-hmm. punctures your hide and blood enters the water, all of the swaggins' eyes dilate. Oh, fuck. Hey, that's not good. You see their nostrils okay. flare. Uh, Peach, go ahead and make okay. your sentinel attack, and then the other two so, will make your attack. I also only get to here because I'm no longer a dolphin. Okay. 19. Okay, so 19 will hit. Which one is this against? Uh, which one? Yeah, it would be uh, the one. Yeah. So question, does sentinel have to be within five feet of you? Fuck, yes. Then you can't hit that one, I'm afraid. The, one well, hit, the other one. The other ones haven't hit you yet. One. So we're going to go ahead and make those attack for those ones. And you see their attacks are far more aggressive now that blood is in the water. They're making these attacks with advantage. I don't even notice. That one misses. Cool. Eighteen on the second one, which is, I believe, a hit. That'll hit. Oh, max damage. 11 points oh. of piercing damage as the second spear Beautiful. strikes you. This one you may make a sentinel attack against. 
cool. Um, so do I keep the same roll or do you want me to roll again? Is it? Um, I'm gonna have it again. Forget if it was an eight. Okay. Is it above or below, Josh? Ah, uh, that is a natural twenty. Okay, go ahead. What was that, Sean? Um, Which one did uh, Button get to make the attack? It was the one to the south. So this one here. Okay. No. So the one that isn't 14. damaged yet. Um. No, that one has taken some damage. The only one that hasn't taken damage oh, is right, the right. far one. Is the one that you attack. That's good, Chancho. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Twenty-one points. Of damage. Sorry, but how point. many points of damage? Twenty-one. That feller there. Okay. You see, as you take a solid hit, striking as this at this creature as it spears Morton as he gets knocked out. He kind of he no! does this flip as he's knocked out of his dolphin form, and then a second spear strikes him, and you slash in response to this creature. As Morton kind okay. of tumbles through the water, blood filling into the area around you. Math on this hit. Good solid hit on this creature. All right, Morton. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Um, uh, I will cast Hold Person on the one all the way to the west and the one to the south. Okay. Ah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. So a third level will cast it on both of those two. First one gets a. That is dexterity or remind wisdom. me wisdom. Wisdom. I should know this. Uh, that's a seventeen on the first one. That passes. Shit. The second one fails. Okay. So he is uh, paralyzed. So this creature here that you just laid into, Button, now all of a sudden you see its spear still, like, frozen in place, kind of... <clears throat> and it's unable to move as Morton holds it in position. Oh. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to heal myself for 2d6. Okay, go ahead and roll it. E. Ah. Nice. Right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, up next, this creature uh, above, kind of peach here to the north, um, will now enraged make two attacks. Or may. Oh shit! Do, 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 do. I'm sorry. Three attacks. Um, the first one it lunges in with. Oh wow! Jesus. Okay. Here we go. First attack is a. I don't like that. 19 to hit. Who? Me? You. Yes, that'll hit. First attack is a hit. Second attack. 13, which I believe is a miss. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, with advantage. Never mind. That will hit. Uh, and then third attack. Third? Yeah. Will also hit. All three, as this creature in rage, oh. the blood filling through the air, flitting into its nose, now goes <laughs> as it stabs three times with its spear. Ouch. Which one's doing that? The one north? directly to your north. Oh my okay. God, let me just calculate this. Lots of. Ouch. Rather it hit me. It's all good. Twenty-six points of piercing damage. Holy Let's shit! Pick. Okay. What terrible. One great. So one creature's turn. That's a lot of damage. Mm. But I'm saying for three attacks, though, that's not terrible. It could be three worse. attacks on Peach. Don't make but... him mad. <laughs> that would be a half of my health. That's the highest AC we have. That is this creature's turn. Next up, Zal. Break, dude. Okay, sweet. So, uh, dudes in front of me is, um, he's all on lockdown, right? Uh, the one directly in front of you is currently frozen. Ah, uh, yes. Paralyzed. So I get advantage if I attack him, right? And it's an auto crit if you hit. It's an auto crit? Oh. Oh, but I'm gonna hit him with an Eldritch Blast Barrage! And he's barrage. looking pretty banged up. Eldritch yeah. Blast Barrage! <laughs> Shblamo. So. And it's with advantage, right? With advantage and autocrit. Okay, sorry, I'm making sure. I don't like want to cheat. Wrong. Well, great. I got a 26 to hit for the first blast. Okay. Roll both hits for me, and then we'll just do total okay. damage. Uh, uh, 
Nat 20 for the second one. Hey, double crit. Um, doesn't double crit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's just a crit. Uh, I got so excited. It's... Uh... <laughs> Fuck. Max damage twice. <laughs> So to it's just annihilates by a <laughs> So your crits are going to give you full damage. So that'll be the full d10. So full plus damage, the roll. then plus a roll. Okay. So, so you're that doing twenty. What's your modifier? Twenty-five. Oh yeah, twenty. Uh, four. Oh, twenty-four. So you'll well, be doing twenty-eight points of damage already. Twenty-eight points of damage already, plus, um, 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 two d10s. Wait, what's the two d10s? Yeah, it's just weird that D and D Beyond did a weird thing. Um, oh, it auto critted for you. It it auto critted for me, but then it also did another thing. Um, so that'd be eleven more damage. So how do you want to do this? Hey, hell yeah! I want to look at that big old frozen shark, and because he stabs my friends, I don't like that. So I blow his hands off with the first hit. And then I just put my hand up to his chest and just blow a hole through his chest. Okay. I'm pissed. Shark Don't do, 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 fuck do, 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 with do, do, my fish friends. As he dies. Or my friend. The spell drops and this creature kind of... Icker fills the air. Or the air, the water around you as it begins to bleed. Anything else you'd like to do, Zal? I just look at the other ones and I just bare my fangs at them. And uh, I forgot how to say it. But the the insult that they were yelling at us, I yell back at them. Oh, Marchech. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot how to Mordech. say it off the top. Marchet. But I say it back to them. Very interesting. As I smile in the icker. They hear clapping. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but they see my fangs. Oh, I like how you're you showing your fangs at a shark creature. It's a mating dance. <laughs> Zal, is that your turn then? Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, well, this creature <laughs> seeing your fangs, as this one dies, oh. this one streaks me, towards baby. you, Come give me, making baby. three attacks with its spear. Come give me, baby. At advantage. Come on, hit me, baby. Give shield. 21. Ah, uh, yeah, that hits. Oops. First one hits. I that one definitely like hits a 17 plus 5, 23. Uh, Doesn't hit. Definitely hits. <laughs> and the 18 hits, is that correct? Oh my god. Just hit. Yeah. All three hit. Four. Just hit. It does. I have 17 AC. Oh, because the kelp armor. I forgot about mm -hmm. that. Oh, I mean, kelp my armor. god. 8, 16, 19, 20, 4, 25, 26, 27 points of piercing damage. As just <laughs> they stab into you one after another oh after another. Oh my god. Peach, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start by uh hitting that one I may. That's an eighteen plus seven, twenty five. Oh, that hits. And, and which one I'm, I'm going sorry. to the one who just hit Zal. Okay, the one to your And what I'm going Thank to you. do Thanks. Yeah, is uh use goading attack. Um, so it has to roll a wisdom saving throw of 14. If it fails, it has disadvantage on all attack rolls against targets who aren't me. Um, it, it fails. Yeah. Because it already has advantage, it becomes regular. It becomes regular. That's still better. So I eight, suck up all the blood. 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, more. So 15 damage Where on that you? first attack. 15 damage on that first <laughs> attack. Okay. And then I'm going to... Roll again. Oh, um, that fell off. Roll again. 15, <laughs> 7, 22. And I'm going to make that a sweeping attack and hit okay. both of them. Roll that uh, extra damage. 8, 6, 14, plus 4, 18. 18. And is it the total damage or is it just the sweeping attack damage that hits the second one? Uh, I think it might just be the sweeping. I believe that's how. You, yeah, one superiority dies, so that's 6. So six onto that one. guy. You see as Peach just lays into these creatures with their blade, causing massive amounts of damage um, and sending, again, more blood into the water. Oof. Anything else, Peach? Um, yes. Um, as a 
bonus action, I'm going to, um, uh, well, uh, no, I'm, no, that's it, sorry. Okay. Then, with that, it is Demi's turn. Cool. Um, she is gonna go here by Morton. Whoa. <laughs> You see Demi <laughs> swim up next to you, Morton. Hello. Um, she's going to cast Dissonant Whispers at whichever one looks the most hurt. Uh, hard to tell. There's a lot of blood and gore in the water. Then she's like. just going to pick one. Which one? Um, Whichever one hit Peach, if she knows which one hit Peach. Uh, the one to Peach is north, so directly in front of you, just 10 feet away. Okay. Um, she's gonna cast Dissonant Whispers on that one. Okay. I need you to make a wisdom save, I believe. The uh, 13? That meets it, beats it, so they'll take half damage. Okay. Roll that damage. Uh, that's 15 halved. Eight. Um, and it just sounds like that insult that they used for us okay. over and over and over again in their head. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I say understand it. Yeah, because it's in his head. <laughs> Demi goes like this. Uh, Baka! <laughs> <laughs> character. You cannot convince me otherwise. Okay. <laughs> Demi, is that your turn? Yep. Okay. Uh, that one is dead. That makes it Morton's turn. Morton's turn? Uh, hmm. Shit, what do I want to do? I didn't think about this at all. Because I'm scared. Okay. I'm going to go 15 feet. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, I'll move here. And I'm going to bop this one in the face. How are you moving there? Swimming above them, like I'm. I went up and over everyone else, okay. so I'm swimming back so you down. You didn't come in reach of that other one, is what you're telling. Me. No, God, yeah. I'm a fragile boy. Uh, and I'm gonna take a swing with my staff at disadvantage because you don't have a swing. But I am flanking. Fine, I'll give it to you. Ha <laughs> I bested you, Goshua. Bastard. <laughs> Got you, uh, Joshua. <laughs> uh, that is a 24 to hit. That hits. Crack. All right, let's roll it on D&D Beyond. Ooh, nine points of damage. All right. Crack this feller in the head for nine points of damage. <laughs> How's that head feel, boy? Ha <laughs> ha, you're a fool. Um, with my bonus action, who looks worse? They Peaches. both look quite bad. Oh, you no, mean Peaches. allies. Mm. Right, they're both saying they're fine. I end my turn. Okay. <laughs> I can heal then myself. it is a creature dead. just north of Peach's turn. And <laughs> it will take a step towards Demi, oh. who has just <laughs> spoken oh. into its head. And it will roll its three spirit tanks. Sentinel. Let it hit me once. I'm wearing ice. It has to hit. It did just do a natural 20 on the first hit. Oh, so. my. It's about to it'll, get killed by ice, though. We'll do that damage take, first. Um, yeah, it'll take then... the 10 points of damage. All I imagine is this thing being like, haha, I've got this one. Step I up. Wish ah, Jesus. So it does do 15 <laughs> points of damage. Um, okay. Which so I believe it'll take 10. 10, and it also <laughs> removes your ice shield, correct? It does. Mm -hmm. My ice is gone. Now, Button, you want to make your sentinel mm. attack? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's the sh <laughs> the natural 20. Is oh, it really? Shit. Okay. Yes. Go ahead and roll that damage. Ha oh. <laughs> take this, stab. Right. Um, what am I, <laughs> okay. I want it. Peach uh, just be like, nope, and slice. No! Five plus four, nine <laughs> damage. Seconds. You did full dice? Natural 20? No, I didn't. Sorry. Um, so 10 plus the five, 19. 19 points. Okay. Just it's a good hit, but not enough. 
<gasps> I squish it. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, I'm this just the bard. <laughs> hits with its second strike and hits with its third strike. Four. Oh no! I was a bard. No, not allowed. <laughs> when I was a young bard. Memory. 15 points of damage. Total? Yeah, because okay. it was two more attacks. It wasn't all. The party. First okay. one hit your Take armor back of this. The second one for 15 is. I'm too I look bad. This is just. <laughs> as Peach is. So. It takes this wound to the shoulder and just keeps aggressing. It's almost as if, despite being quite badly wounded now, it's ignoring it in all entirety, unfazed by this massive cut to the, back of the shoulder. Uh, with that, it is Zal's turn. Great. I'm mad again. Are you? Because now you've hurt my friends again, and oh. I said not in this, not in this lifetime, not <laughs> here. Oh, the sharks go. My bad. Sorry. We'll leave. They should have. <laughs> I go. Not in my. <laughs> Lots of this. <laughs> and I do one of these, like Iron Man style, with like one hand pointed one way. Not T pose. Oh, you're one's gonna right fire both of, of them. Got it. And I fire one, like blast out of each hand. Okay. Go ahead. And um, roll ahead. The first Great. one is going at the creature between you and Morton. Great. So this one, Yu-Gi-Oh, that is a 21. That hits. Roll damage. Two. Um, damage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. That's a six damage. Okay. Um, and then the other one's going to Demi, the one in front of Demi, because that one, I don't... Go ahead and roll the hit. Just don't. 16? Beats it, beats it. Um. Oh, that was so close to a 10. Uh, eight damage on that one. Okay. It takes this hit to the shoulder. <laughs> Still standing, leering over Demi. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? He's, uh, Demi, how hurt are you, Demi? Real bad. Okay, cool. I'm <laughs> dropping for my bonus action. I'm going to drop, uh, I'll drop, you know what? Only because of, because I'm I about love you, half kid. down. Okay, only because I love you, kid. Yay. Two, three, four. I'm dropping f four, which is my max I can burn. Be careful. <laughs> I, my max I can burn. Uh, so four from my healing pool. Fourteen back. Yay, thanks. There you go. It is this champion's turn and it turns to Morton now. Coward. Make all three of its spear types. <laughs> oh no! Coward. Now it makes it with double Coward. advantage. Uh I'm kidding. Double advantage? Um wait. No, it doesn't have advantage because of my um Oh yeah. Uh, goading attack. attack. Okay, so that would have been <laughs> sixteen. But he wanted to hit on the first one, that's a hit. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 16 to hit on the second one sure I'll take it 22 That's on the 20. third one all three yeah, hit <laughs> not even scared coward 26 points of piercing damage That's 26 spear stabs Oh my god. I'm at half. Peach, okay. you're up. Yeah. First thing I'm going to do is going to swing at the one who hit Demi, 16 plus 7, 23. Um, and I'm going to use maneuvering. What is that called? Um, maneuvering Maneuver attack. So I can't tell Demi this, but I'm going to point at her and tell her to move like point behind Zal, and she can um, maneuver, um, she can use her reaction to move up to half her speed without provoking opportunity attacks, so she can get out of this guy's space. Um, okay, roll that down. Uh, 10, 10 damage on the first one. How do you one. want to do this? Oh! <laughs> that's, yeah. that's funny. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> like yell into the water, 
Like, get behind Zol, and then I'm gonna kill him. And then <laughs> he just, you hear this, this, and then the creature in front of you separates with the torso and floats off in different directions. Oh, never mind, I'm gonna aim at the other one. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll it. <laughs> 14 plus seven. That hits. I can't do much. Okay. It hits. Um, uh, I'm just gonna do that one straight. Oh, 10 uh, plus four. And we're 14. 14 okay. points of damage. Okay, as you hit this one as well. It's still standing. Hey, buddy. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn, Peach? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, they are going to rally Demi. Um, hit temporary hit points, is that right? Yes. So that is pretty good. Um, that's a pretty good die. This one. Oop. Seven plus one, eight uh, temporary hit points for Demi. I look better than normal. <laughs> oh, uh, surprise, everyone. All right. Uh, Peach just turned over. Demi, you're up. Cool. Uh, Dissonant Whisper is at the one that's left at first level. Okay. Saving throw. Mm-hmm. Fifteen. It succeeds, so it'll take half. Okay, roll that damage. Roll that beat. So that me. is... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, nine. How do you want to do this? Yay! I, oh. I know it can't understand me, but just don't touch my friends. And then I want to, like, <laughs> do this, and I want his brain to, like, just kind of crush and then bleed out of his ears. You just see, like, <laughs> fell out of his As for the moment, you leave initiative order. Woo! Holy shit. She's gonna take out a little copper wire and point it at Peach and then Zal just like, thanks. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> just Thank thanks. You, you are That's it. in this <laughs> torture chamber. <laughs> Blood kind of drifting through these corpses, kind of floating in the water around you, at least two swagging. The Loa Kath strapped to the table now looking around. The creature, the beast in the crage nearest to you, um, you can hear kind of bashing now against the grate, somewhat riled up, and you hear coming from this cell down here, in common, hello? Oh. hello? And you're able to hear coming it. from down there? Down, Debbie, down, down hear away it. from you, behind in one of those. So hello. into the into the other we, cell, right? Yes. We can hear like that one? one? So where I'm pinging can on the map- Can he speak? Are they saying it out loud? They are saying it, right? yes, I said that. They are saying it out loud in common. You can hear it. In the water. So it's somebody in who can speak water, underwater. Yes. Can I Can I search the um, swagen for keys? Uh, yeah, I'm just go ahead the, and the roll to see. Make an One investigation, investigation check for me. Also, we take a short rest. There you do. <laughs> I mean, we'll try. Uh, that'll be a uh, 10 for investigation. <laughs> okay, one moment. Um, That's a good drink. Yeah, it is. Um, I am going to take one of my healing potions just in the meantime. I was about to say, I was, does Morton need one or does he have one? As you check the swagon, yeah, they don't have anything on their person beyond some like torture implements and the spears themselves. Um, you do see there's keys against one of the walls um, kind of sat there. Um, I grab those and I unlock the lower can. That okay, works. I Demi's gonna the swim line. over to the, uh, to the sound of the voice. Okay, so Azal is beginning to unlock the lower can. I'll go there too. Demi and Morton swim over to the barred section down here. And you're now able to see this end cell is empty currently. Inside this cell, there huh. is a trident. Oh. oh. Well. Help me. Get me out of here. Um. I'm just gonna nod. <laughs> Uh, right. takes out a little wire sorry can't 
do much of the talking. That's Who fine. Are Just you? get me out of here. Kish, please. Why are you here? We're working on it. Captured. Are the Tritons fighting with us? They're currently not fighting alongside you, but they're residents of the ocean. Okay. They are on neither side of this conflict, as far as we know. Uh, as you unlock gonna... Borga, uh, the lower cat, excuse me. Uh, thank you. Uh, and he's also speaking in common and intelligent. Nice. She just has to oh, you're gonna, All right. She's gonna point the wire towards Zal. You have a key. We have a person <laughs> stuck. And Zal just puts up his finger for like the one second. Grabby hands. I, I point it. I point it to Loa Calf, and I point at the sea lion. Yeah, that's my 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 mount. So I swim over and I unlock the sea lion. Oh. Okay, I need you to make an animal handling check. Why would you just open it? Why would you? You just said it was Why? his mount. It's a, wait, <laughs> wait for the mount. It is you do his oh, mount. Yeah. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm sorry. I didn't think you would do that. It is his mount. Yes, uh, these are akin to war steeds. Except they don't, horses aren't that they don't have, like, a Yes, except for these things are but... absolute monstrosities. Yeah. Well, I thought like, oh, it's a familiar face. I'm not gonna kill a familiar face. It just has not no idea. Who you are. <laughs> not yeah, like, All right. Well, so I sorry. made the animal handling check. No, you're good. It's fine. Fuck me. No, I'm kidding. I got a sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. So you un as you go to approach the door and unlock it, this creature lunges forward and you hear boom, as it kind of smashes its head. This big, long, almost serpentine head with this jaw that unhinges and opens as if it's not able to do so because it's bound, but boom, and it is thrashing towards you unkindly. See? And I look over the lower can and I point give, at it. And give I... me a second. I'll, I'll, I'll calm her down. He's, he's still like trying to get himself. Can I? Is it like on a key ring? Uh, the like keys the are key on like ring? a big brass ring. Fuck. Oh, okay. Then I swim. I go, and I swim over to the their cage, and I let the I hand Demi the key. I don't know if she's letting the Triton out. Cool. She'll let the Triton out. Okay. Let's not Okay. Thank you. Well. Okay. And I was he, like, Morton? He Objections? immediately kind of pushes past you and sorry, Peach. He immediately That's goes cool. down to the cage with the eel and oh. you see him stop and his shoulders kind of slump forward. Oh no. <sighs> that was his. There's sea dog fighting. This isn't night. <laughs> yeah, no, we're I'm not not cool. Um Oh, Peach is gonna pat his shoulder, pat the train shoulder in his shoulder. Thank you. Oh, wrong character voice. Thank you. <laughs> you see Borgus now kind of getting up and making his way towards Borgus. He says, my name's Borgus. Pleasure to meet you. I'm silently laughing. And he uh, he puts like a hand them? on the, the bronze gate by the sea line. He says, It's all right, Silver. Kind of steps Hi -ho, Silver. over. Is uh, this our new quartermaster? Hi -ho, Silver. I think. Wait, who are you talking about? Because this could be everyone. Uh, Borgus <laughs> said Silver. It could be the dead eel for all I know. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> so you now see. Um, and you hear the thrashing from the sea lion's cage kind of almost immediately calm a little bit as it sees that its rider is, is alive. As he approaches you and Kish is kind of standing there, each resting a hand on his shoulder. Well, they're gonna... Um, I've already forgotten his name. It starts with a B. Kish. Borgus. Oh, Borgus. Uh, Borgus. Not Kish. Borgus. Um, they're gonna look at Borgus and they obviously can't talk, but they're gonna point at Silver and, like, have two riders? Like, gesturing to Kish and himself. Oh. Hey, yeah. definitely don't mind any of them. What? 
Oh, that was me talking in real life. Oh. oh. Yeah, we could, uh, yeah, Bill, we could carry too. Hey, who are you people? The, oh god. Um, there's a blockade out side of the island. We're doing recon. And we'll to just a bring it to the swamp. Not, not all. Um, there's more lower cath out there and some coalin. Um, who? Who what? Which lower cath? Uh, Gupper. Is son of a bitch. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Do we just like save the prince of their people or something? <laughs> um, it, folks. Right, and you're with me. Can I see those keys? Sure. Right. <laughs> goes over. Chink. You see as this very large lion, like green skinned lion like creature with scales kind of swims out. It's got these long arm like fins uh, and then this mermaid like tail, fish like tail. And it kind of. And you see Gopher. Can- for Jesus. Borgus kind of put his hand up on his neck. All right. All right. Got it, girl. And he kind of undoes the band. Pulls his hand up. I want one. Uh, just a question before you leave. Um, Anything. Any idea on numbers, uh, what they're doing, where we should not go next. Well, there's an arena right down this hallway. It's the only thing I've seen, but they put me in there. They had me fight some sort of giant fucking crustacean. Killed it. But when I had a moment to look around, there was upwards of 200 watching for the seats. (coughs) (laughs) And it was packed. Um. Uh, all right. Um. Have you seen any anything else in here? How did you get here? I was sent as a forward patrol, scouting up behind the swagging. Watched him take the place a few months back. Stuck in the area. They got a little too close. They grabbed me, and of course, Silver wouldn't let him take me without fight. Her. Similar story for me. Kish, are the are the Triton fighting currently with the the Swagen? Yeah, all the time. They're from a trench. C- oh, is there any chance that you could um talk to? your people and and get them here see what i can do though it's not near mm. we're talking the other side of the sea great okay any other um, pertinent information just i hadn't been put in the arena he kind of glanced at his These creatures are quite vicious. Not <laughs> just there's leadership of some sort, several. Says so I, yeah, they made an appearance when I was fighting as well. Some big ass swagon, four or five of them, four arms, four, every single one each. Of them. Also, they're up to something. Sometimes this whole place shakes, and I swear to God, it's moving. I think, I think. Oh, you can't hear me. Never mind. Um. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. They're gonna tap Demi's wire again. Yes. <laughs> Can you ask? Holding bottles in a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> There's nothing else I can do. What? Um, do you want to ask them if they're willing to stay with the Falling Star? Then we can maybe get the Triton to a ship, and in the meantime, I want to get to another cover. person. Uh, oh, he can't hear you. I'm sorry. Sense. I'll be quiet. But, uh, he can't. But um, but asking Kish, right? Oh, yeah. If Kish sure. wants to to stay with the Falling Star in the meantime. Oh, he could be our oh. chef. Chef. So, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's her question. Can you cook? No. Um. So, uh, Blockade, uh, Colin, Loakath, um, and a couple of, uh, Saltmarsh ships and also the Lizard Folk. Hope none of those are a problem for you. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, Guppa is, there's, like, a ton of sea lions out there. Yeah. Um, she's just continuing. All right. They did. They're very cute. Um, she's looking at the ceiling. Um, I want <laughs> one. Uh, so, um, uh, Kish, I know that there's not really a Trident um, for, for you to go to, so if you'd like to, our uh, ship is the Falling Star, as long as Tritons have no issues with sea elves. Yeah. Great. Then uh, but get you, you're welcome I'm to. Kill uh, the moment I get that. <laughs> perfect. You're welcome to. Uh, you're welcome to stay on the following star, if you see fit. Um, Oceanus, I'm sure, would be accommodating. It usually is. Yes, I'll ask once we get to the sun. Thank you. Thank you. Takes a step into the cage because that's their exit route. <laughs> oh, the baby. One. He has to kind of. Mm. Uh, uh, the Orgus kind of looks at you. All right, we'll let him know you made it this far. Uh, let Let Admiral Hawk know everything you know about the inside of this place. What's he look like? Real short, angry dwarf man. <laughs> Never met a dwarf before. All right, cool. Yeah. Hoorah. Good luck. Uh, be careful going out there. Yeah, same with you. You're heading into the hornet's net. I don't know what a hornet is. The school of sharks. God fucking damn it. The jellyfish's nest. Sharks. There we go. Yeah. Jellyfish's <laughs> nest. That makes sense. Yes. Be great. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Good luck. I, I have no idea what that guy's saying. <laughs> you know, neither do I sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Guess what? You can't hear her. She's just mouthing. <laughs> oh my god. All right, you guys. Oh, I love it. What have I started here? There, I, there appears to be friction in the water. <laughs> I just love the response of. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, all I know is you head down this corridor leading out. You're going to hit a, like a crossroads. I don't know where left or right lead, but I know if you go straight. It's going to head downwards a little bit in a sort of like entryway. Behind that door is the arena itself, like the combat. Walk through that door, you're walking in. Rest of it, I couldn't tell. Also, this episode is going to be called Friction in the Water instead of Blood in the Water. I, I thought it was going to be called <laughs> Blood in the Water. It does need to be Blood in the Water. It's it Blood in the Water. Blood in the Water. All right. Good luck. Good luck. You safe? They kind of begin to um, figure out a way to move Good this luck. eel and fit the sea lion through that oh. gap. It's going to be tight and a lot of work. That poor baby. <sighs> Just awkward and sad the whole time. It's very <laughs> awkward and very sad. How would you like to proceed, party? Uh, she's gonna look at all of them and kind of, they all heard him say there's a cross, so she's gonna be like left or right and then forward no. <laughs> like, just like trying to ask which way they want it. 
Treasure. I'm just trying not to abuse this spell. It's fine. You guys need a way okay. to communicate. You're not abusing. This cantrip is hard. It is. Uh, the, one of the issues I take with the design of this dungeon is that your party cannot communicate, uh, and thus roleplay is problematic. <laughs> yeah, unless one of them is yeah. a trident. Unless one of them is a trident. Or a low again. Zal kind of looks at Demi low. and is like... <sighs> yes. This was supposed to be the lowest floor. So clearly... They're either digging, or there's something under this, like well, it's, outside it's, it's, under this. It's been sinking, so. And he said that it was shaking and possibly moving. So what's under under this? Also, I don't think that's important for us. It is. We cannot walk into an arena. True, but period. Here's the other thing. I'm sorry, Sean caught me off with the... <laughs> <laughs> it was the classic, like, 90s character, just... <laughs> uh, but the four arms, they didn't mention anybody with multiple mouths, so their god isn't here, so what if he's below us? Then we're definitely not going down. We have to. We do not, and I will not. Yeah, we are here for Strictly Recon, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure. We're here to find well, information. Like God. Because we've been <laughs> three people in here. Information. We've been three people in here so It was Josh's list. And we got our asses kicked. <laughs> yes, yeah. three of them, and that arena has 200 plus people, and one, four of them with four arms each. No. I feel like we kick some ass, though. I don't feel like uh, dying today. It's cool. If the, now, if there was no water, could they go crazy like that? Like, let's just... I'm asking for a friend. Make a medicine check. <laughs> no. Damn it. Ah. Uh, 18. Huh. Got I that feeling it's there. the blood scent of it. Air. So just any, even if it was on the floor. Even if there was like no water in the building, and... fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fine. <laughs> Alrighty. Dust will go with that. Uh, nice try, though. I like where you were going with you. it. Thank you. That uh, advantages we... me. <laughs> it is. That's why I was trying to get rid of that and some of their attacks. Yeah. <laughs> I Alrighty. know that we're hurt. I don't think we should stay here, though. I'm actually pretty fine. I healed myself oh. a little bit more. Yeah, Peach is You're actually muted. To... Well, I'm not oh. fine. Oh. Um, you need healing, bud? Yeah. I'll drop you a cure wounds because I don't use my first level spell slots. I get full <laughs> heals because Ashi's there. Full heals and you heal 13. Woo! Peach is going to use second wind to heal themselves up a bit. Jemmy's going to thank. The gods she does not pray to for her protective friends. Is anyone else good? Because I, I literally just now realized I don't use my first level spell slots for anything. I'm totally fine right now. <laughs> I think we should probably save it. I got okay. 42 out of 56. I'm I have I eight. I'm 56 out of 68. I'm, I'm okay. missing five points and I have eight temporary right now. So, Great. perfect. How do you want to proceed? Little... We'll move uh, forward straight down the tunnel. Straight. No, straight, straight, forward straight, straight, and then straight, straight. decide left or right when we get there. Okay, so please make sure you're moving your uh, characters yes. on the map. Uh, and please tell me how you're proceeding stealthily, noisily, combatively, uh, happily. Stealthily. Quietly. Stealth oh. Combatively. Right. Nice. Slowly, uh, actually. I'm in back. I'm going to make a let you right make now. one more check with your Pass of entry. I'm doing this. Nice. Thank you, sir. Yay! But I have to do this at disadvantage. Okay, that's fine. Oh. 26. Oh, but I get to add my modifiers now. I'm not a fish. 26. 24. 19. Uh, 21. All right. Look at us. We're like, oh shit, these things hit hard. Everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> I am feeling behind now. A little bit. Oh. As you begin to make your way down, you are greeted by these long, ornate hallways. There is oh. tile work everywhere new uh, quite well done 
very pretty, oh, depicting scenes of the rolling ocean of deep cavernous trenches. It's these small little, think very much Greek mosaic style patterning worked all along these hallways as you looked. Before Took over you, somebody's home and remodeled it. Temple. Okay. Before you is a slope that leads downwards to a large wooden door that stands several feet or like 15 feet tall set downwards. That is the direction that your Loakath friend suggested was problematic. Um, mm -hmm. To your right, there is a hallway leading. You can see just barely that there is another hallway leading left and to the south. And then at the very end of this hallway, it hooks to the right, back up to the to or left. You see a hallway that T junctions off to a left and right, going north or south, respectively. Currently seeing now, no other creatures. Can we is hear it... sounds coming from straight ahead? Do he... roll perception. For is, is it like a thunderous crowd is... cheering? Is it lit in these hallways or no? All of these it's hallways, lit. unless I tell you otherwise, have these strange glowing anemones mixtures stuck to them. Anemone, anemone. Anemone. Twenty-four. Anemone. I was about 24. To 24. Twenty-four. Or the ten. When you can hear. It is not thunderous. It's not the sound of two hundred, but there are the sounds of light combat and at least a small crowd. Damn. <sighs> I can't say anything. Oh. Um, she's gonna essentially just put up her hands left or right. Peach. She's gonna it's suggest gonna... the way that has two places to go. Yeah. So both the of them do have two like... places. Oh. One of them is a, like a, so just to the make this easier for the you, other... this one oh, goes okay. this way and this way. Uh, she's still gonna I think she wants the T-junction. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna Because we can go to the end, see where those go and if they look Those bad, two go, yeah. Bad the other way. Yeah. So it's all like one way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As you per proceed mm -hmm. down these hallways, again, it's all very mm -hmm. new and very well done construction. Move down uh, them, quietly creeping your way, swimming. I was gonna say Zal is like looking at all the the mosaic to see if there's a story being told. Go ahead and okay. investigation for me. Okay. Come on! Oh, finally a nat twenty. Okay. Um, nice. It's mostly like scenes of geographic okay. features you might see under the water. And like these great trenches, these vistas, these coral reefs, these great sea beasts and sea creatures. Um, occasionally you see two four-armed individuals staring at each other from across a combat. Or a what you assume is a swoggin with a spear in hand having slain some sort of giant. They pick nice. sort of limited stories. Um, but okay. stories not you guys move down this hallway. Lit. Okay. Each will lit. peer around the corners um, of that T. Okay. Um, as you kind of look, uh, make a perception check. I'm so good at those. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is a 19, so 18. <laughs> um, you can hear gently and muffled the sounds of crowds coming from the direction down the right. <laughs> Okay. Sweet Caroline. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, there it is. That song is an audition. So good. So that's, so good. Sorry, that's to our right. To your right. So this is to the south, just to be clear for you, because orientation. Yeah. Peach is going to point to the south and do just like the universal signal for noisy. Um, okay. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do do do. <laughs> Morton shark, do 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 do. Morton shark. Um, are we with that perception? Is there's less the other direction? You're not hearing any specific noise. Okay. 
they're gonna point north, um, that left down that T north, or then like give a questioning look and point the other way. Uh, can Demi hear that? Do I need perception? Um, I'll say with Peach pointing it out, you are able to hear it as well. Okay. Um, she's going to point north, away from. She what? Would she? It's not common. It's Swagan, right? Uh, it is all in Swagan. And um, it's through water, so again, the acoustics are strange. Yeah. Um, Because what I'm trying to figure out is probably not an arena, but does she know what an arena looks like? Like, she's probably... I, I'm trying to figure out, like, bard-wise, if she would figure that that's, like, we go that way, it's probably the stands of the... Um, that's what she's trying to figure out. If you feel like Demi would know that, you can absolutely know. I mean, I figure I'm not gonna make you make arenas are like them. amphitheaters, so I figure if Demi she probably... is making that assumption, then yeah, she, she yeah, would have okay. that idea. Which then she's, she's more gonna... than welcome to do within her own prerogative. I'm not going to dictate that. Right, it's cheating. <laughs> so she's going to point north. <laughs> okay. Alright. How do you proceed? To the north. Each, you begin to right, travel left again way. along these immaculate corridors. It is, these are long spaces. You can already get the feeling it, these kind of sterile, perfectly masoned hallways with these tapas, these not these traps, these masonry stories all over the place here. Um, and, and quite well established, completely finished. Um, and these hallways stretch quite long distances. You can see how it would probably form a warren, warren through this, um, through this whole room. Zal is still looking at the tabestries, trying to see if there's some story being told. Okay. Yeah, gonna and, like, we do peek trying... around this corner while he does that. He's trying to piece together like what he's seen and see if there's like maybe different directions have different things that they try to convey. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, and you spent some time. You're now you've traveled enough. Some of these stories are repeating themselves. Okay. Um, like there's almost a pattern to the way they apply these to. The cool hmm. it doesn't seem like there's a specific story to tell or any kind of message in them at this point i'm just doing that based off of your prior investigation check yeah no 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 totally cool yeah each as you look down this hallway roll another perception check for me yeah. <laughs> that is a one which is a zero okay. uh <laughs> seems like an empty hallway you see a small skull shoal of silver fish can I also look? Go ahead. Am I allowed to do forward. that? Am I allowed to do the PD stack? Last one. Okay. 14 plus, what's my perception? I think it's five. Yeah. So 19. Okay. Um, listening a little bit closer, there's the dull sound of movement. Nowhere near density of hearing. Peach doesn't know that, so they're gonna take a step around that corner. Just like Demi's going to reach forward and put her arm in the back of the armor and kind of pull back. (laughs) 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 When you grab the back of the collar of somebody's shirt, like okay. Just floating in the water like (laughs) (laughs) I I would assume Demi grabs the back and like pulls Herself closer to them. <laughs> That's true, yeah. It's like trying to move a rock as you kind of you float into existence. <laughs> <laughs> She's very small. That's, what That's just what, that what takes all out of like looking at the wall. It's just like he's a tone. He sees Demi like just like motor. It's like jet skiing off of peach walking. Oh my gosh. Right. Back behind, behind that wall. Um, she's gonna point ahead and do that. The voice thing that you did. So she's gonna point to the south and do both hands like they're talking and she's gonna point to the north and go one, like like softer talking. Essentially. Sharks. <laughs> do, 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 do. Who? One yeah. Would you? is complicated. So 
Well, okay. In regards to what that might mean. Yeah. So I'm just very, yeah. <sighs> copper wire. <laughs> We're gonna look confused and she's gonna pull out the copper wire. There's less noise, but still noise coming from that. They're gonna respond, should we go that, that way? Uh, the quieter but still people way? Or back down the other hall where we first came in? I have a, I have a feeling there's gonna be people everywhere, but um, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna turn back <laughs> and essentially okay. tell both of the other two the exact same thing and see if they have any thoughts. Does anyone have any thoughts? Back or forward? Peach is pointing back. So Debbie's ignoring Saul. Uh, <laughs> and he's asking Arena. Peach, you're pointing to the south? So um, just, so just, back around just the for corner. brevity's sake, when me, you're deciding yes. which direction you go, I'm not going to make you role play out communicating the whole conversation. You guys Don't. go ahead and make that. Okay. Because otherwise going, we're going to be in you. this fucking place forward. for six Thank sessions. you. Forward, yeah. yeah. Forward I, or, or try again. Try another. North. Place. North, okay. We're going to go north towards the soft voices. Soft oh, voice. Okay. But I'm gonna or like. Obviously, we we've know. told everybody that it's there, so we know to be quiet and also be so, aware that something. And if it's a room full of dudes, I'll just so, sit in there playing cards or something. We fucking leave. Yeah, leave Zal, it. Yeah. Back the Zal fuck goes, up. Zal like waves to stop everybody, and then does this and points at Ashi. That oh. is a better idea. Yeah. And so. Uh, Zal's using his telepathy, because that's actual telepathy, to talk to Ashi, and he's like, go invisible, I'm going in your eyes. Okay. Ashi, you, as you kind of, Ashi disappears, kind of slump into that semi-conscious state, you find yourself in Ashi. Perspective. <laughs> All I imagine is Zal's body just like floating. Yeah, Zal is like limp, arms in front of him, kind of like floating. You kind of <laughs> Off one of the like, walls. We'll just pass him around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and move Ashi that. as you would compel Ashi to proceed. Okay. I'm just like keep going, keep going. You move your way down the hallway, stopping at that corner. You are greeted by the sounds that kind of Demi brought to y'all's attention. Now getting a little bit wider. Another long hallway with a hook to the. <sighs> He's just God. he's just a going. He's slow though, because he is underwater. Right, so I'm gonna have Ashi roll stealth with advantage. Okay. Oh. Basically this is me rolling stealth with advantage, which is great. I got gonna... it, guys. Corners. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I already rolled it, Josh. That's Oh, I'm not rolling for Ashi. Josh, don't <laughs> roll for Ashi. I got it, buddy. Uh that was with advantage. Twenty-three. Ashi is being very the also the combination of Ashi being invisible and there being no footfalls or wing beats. It's literally the only way that something could pick up on Ashi would be like Ashi's moving themselves through the water. Um, so it's quite difficult just, to catch just it. still being just <laughs> we just do this with some current and let it carry it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as Ashi Mission rounds impossible. this corner, he is greeted by an open door. He's into a room. And through that Zal, open door, he can already Zal's see. Zal's doing this. Spot. Oh, God, no. Back. No bad. Zal, like, it, Zal's body, even though he's being passed around like a fucking beach ball, he's doing <laughs> this. And then doing... To, like, signal them that he sees one swaggin. You'll see Zal signaling swaggin. Uh, oh. That's the universal sign for swaggin. We've one swaggin. <laughs> um... <laughs> Water chicken. Uh, water chicken. Swaggin, same thing. Uh, All right, how would you like to proceed? Uh, Ashi's gonna keep moving to the doorway and then kind of peek in through the doorway. I will maintain your existing stealth as Ashi Thank looks you, in through the doorway. Thanks, man. They are greeted by the sight of the a fuck room are those? full of various types of swaggin and stairs leading upward. Oh. As you look into this door, you see at the foot of the stairs, an archway leads out of the area to you. 
That's actually the door that you're standing in. Okay. A swaying mass of seaweed fills the eastern side of this room. Many coffers are set against the north and west walls, their lids. A large group of Swagan warriors gather near the center of the chamber. A hunched Swagan floats near the bottom of the stairs, its dark green robes waving. And you see the most of the Swagan here um, are one of them is all looks like the one you fought spears. The four in front of it are these huge hunched hulking creatures with large shoulders and these war hammers made of this strange bone. And the ones near the end of the stairs, they're these lithe creatures and they are wearing these long green robed hoods that seem to float and waft. And they seem to be quite difficult to uh, they seem lithe click and do you guys see his all expression? He's usually like <laughs> blank. He's like usually blank, and then he Ashi gets in the room, and Zal's expression just goes. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. I think he's all having right. it. We were no straight him. <laughs> 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 oh, mm. oh god. Okay. Oh good. He's just going eight swag and eight swag. <laughs> Easy enough to tell that one. So we go south. And he's just he <laughs> brings, he's like immediately messages off. He's like, get the fuck back here. <laughs> like, oh, Can you poof God. him from there? I mean, yeah. Poof. With no noise this time. <laughs> Can I just see the door? <laughs> like a bunch of bubbles. <laughs> You're, actually, you don't see anything. There is just. Zal, it's disorienting for you because you're all of a sudden standing next to yourself as you plane shift over to yourself, and Ashi's just floating there. I'll just waves at nothing. <laughs> Debbie's just gonna be like, "Back, we're going oh, back," <laughs> and direct us to go back towards where the other doors so... were. Go ahead and please continue to guide your party as you do. Uh, okay. Well, uh, no, Morton, no, Morton, I'm not first. Oh, okay. I can't move as fast as you guys. You guys can easily just go around me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going this way. Yeah, you see way, Morton back. dog paddling much slower than everybody else. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, we're going. Did this you go way. southwards. Oh, okay. No, that's why I thought we were going. Okay, so you hook back. I think we're gonna go see about north the other way. That's smart. So you make your way down that hallway. We're gonna peer around this guy first, heading south. Because there are the two directions. Peer around this oh. corner. Oh god. It's another long hallway. You see, an entry door on the left side on the eastern. Ooh. There you go. Points at Ashi again. Yeah. Even though there's nothing there, he just points at this void next to him. Ashi, go oh, for nice. it. I okay. choose you. Go ahead and drive Ashi where you'd like them to go. I need a new stealth check from Ashi. Actually, I need a stealth check from all of you. But why? I'm so far away. Uh, oh, can I guess pass without trace? So cool. I'll let you. I just went down. Yeah. Right. Cool. Sorry. So plus 10 is okay. Morton cast pass without. 25. 25. 19. 2020. Okay. You're all sufficiently and then... stealth. And as Morton casts that pass without chase, and you see the water darken a little bit around you, almost as if there's like a sort of haze. A few fish seem to manifest like a shoal around Mark. you. You hear Localized as a patrol of Swagan crosses the intersection that you had just come back from, <laughs> going <laughs> northwards. You see about six of them. <laughs> now, Zell, are you wait, reporting from, in? Wait, where was that? So, so really from like to learn teleportation. Up. Yes. North. Yeah, okay. we don't like you to learn teleportation. <laughs> I'll work with it. <laughs> I'm happy oh, I got shit. my thunder step. I just got fourth level <laughs> magic, guys. Give me a give me a second. I can cast meat shield. Of That's it. All right. um, give your bard a second. Shield. Ashi got a slutty twenty. Okay, Ashi seems sufficiently concealed and invisible still. Uh, are you peering through his eyes? Uh, yeah. Zal's gonna switch in, and then like the second he sees that, he's just gonna like 
hold like reach his hand out to one of them and like go into the eyes real quick because he's like i need a signal if something bad's happening please so from ashi's perspective what ashi can see this juncture is kind of out in this direction through the water Mm -hmm. it's you see this hallway and then it opens into a very large room you see that the ceiling goes upwards out of line of sight and the floor goes downwards out of line of sight you're looking but to get a better view you're going to have to approach get close is that and those are steps down right like it goes it looks like there's steps leading downwards okay you're not you're not seeing like down past the steps you're not close enough to get that vantage you're seeing out straight in front of you Gotcha. gotcha. That makes You're also sense. hearing a considerable that. amount of discourse and conversation. No, 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 no. And I just <laughs> seeing them do that earlier, and I point to the direction Ashi's in, and so I send. Uh, I'm sorry. I send them over to this corner, Parker. I'm just Let's thinking see. about the fact that we called them water chickens. We- as Ashi glances down this hallway, as Ashi down this hallway, it is again another long mosaic hallway. Shoot! Oh man! Shoot! Oh. Shoot, how far? Going? Let's go north. Do you want me to send them? Do, do, I, okay, I can't hear you, so. Don't worry about further south. Where are you do going with Ashi? I can't send them any farther than that. None so. of you guys have this context okay. yet. Where are you going Mm-mm. with Ashi? Um, I'm going to pull myself back. One path goes to the arena. The other path, we'd have to start going down the hallway so I can look through his eyes. I can't get that close lose my connection we can move up yeah I didn't go north yet though so that's wait I'm saying this to I assume me and Parker are talking yeah god this is so confusing this is fine fuck no one can talk you are relaying all communications through Parker yeah go north Parker how does it feel to be the translator now I, you're acting like Demi doesn't talk all the time. He does it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Just sometimes it's not translating language. Way. It's just a different kind way. of area. Yeah. All right. Um, so, so north. Let's try north before you go okay. further. I pull yeah. Ashi back. God dang it! I pull Ashi back. He goes north, and I go. Eyeballs activate, and I go into Ashi's. Eyes. All right. You're greeted it's by seven a short, guard. short, short <laughs> hallway. Uh, with a juncture heading northwards as you head down this way with Ahi. Okay. You are greeted by a hallway with a door straight to the right Jesus and what look to be stairs leading upward. So he's like... You have no idea what he's saying. He's just picking angles. More upstairs? And he's... Did you come back from Ashi yet? Nope. Okay. Well, then I can't talk to you. Actually, you probably could, technically. Is your? I don't think your you self is in yourself. Here, if you True. could reach Ashi with message, then it's 120 feet. Maybe. So, I could. That's so funny. It's just, talking. Let's not complicate this further. Talking yeah. through a pseudo yeah. dragon through a connection. He's not a pseudo dragon anymore. Through, yeah. Through a sprite, right. through a... Anyway. What are you doing with Ashi? That, he's getting to that door and peering through it. As you he's look our through scout the door, right you see um, what appears to be like a storage room. You can see a massive amount of equipment all stacked and piled. In. Gaze through the thing. You're not getting a full view of the room yet, um, mm-hmm. but you see... The storage area seems orderly, but somewhat neglected. It doesn't have a ton of action in there. Uh, nice. On the floor near the south wall lays coils of rope, piles of hides, neatly lashed with cords, heaps of nails, all that sort of thing. Um, uh, Ashi's gonna go in that room. Ah, oh, god dang it. As Ashi walks into that room, he is greeted by the sight of... Dark. 
swimming overhead. Sharks? Uh, the mouth? As you move in, there are uh, racks of equipment running down this storage room, and the space above them, this room is about 20 feet tall, as sharks circling through the water. Like, is it the hunter shark thingies that we saw them riding on, or are these, like, just baby they sharks? They do look akin to the sharks they were riding on. <laughs> ah. Let's Zal, the death Zal's track. doing this. Bonto, just making the whole dance. Jump on it. Jump on it. <laughs> I'm on just it. saying, we're making the whole dance with this being sharks. Okay, continue. <laughs> um, I don't know. And he's, he's, he's pulling out hard and then going to look at the stairs to see if there's anything right at the stairs. Roll a perception check with Osh. Yes, you do. Oh my goodness. Before you leave this the room. Is... I... Do I have to? I'm scared. Oh god. I'm scared. What, what, are you, what are you about to make? I want to know what it is. Do I use I know what you're gonna oh, right. Ashi's perception. Wisdom? Good thing it's better than mine. 16. 16. Check this. Oops, no. Never be free to land to the smarto. We're in underwater hell. We're in underwater hell with his butt <laughs> in the water. <laughs> so, as Ashi begins to leave the room, as you turn right in front of where Ashi was sitting, so I'm going to go ahead and take the room back there, you see no. cracks that form the shape of a door. Fairly well Ooh, where? Wait, like Directly in behind this? Ashi in the wall here. Oh. oh, he's gonna go through there. Then. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a solid scene. It's like a scene. He's seeing okay. the cracks of a stone slab in the shape of a door, and there's a stone sitting in that shape. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I missed it. I thought you door. meant like, I thought you meant like there was like the shape of a door, like they knocked something out, and there was like a door there. No, no, but my apologies. Like, I got, you, I got with that perception. Saying. You are able to, as Ashi is turning and about to leave, catch what appears to be some sort of secret door. There's no way you're going to be able to articulate this on charades. I'm making a DM call here. No, 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 I know. know. Zal is just trying because he's like, we can't speak, so I'm going to try to give them as much. I I know, I know. And Zal does that, but we have three stories of this. So the same as the communication with with I got you. Ashi, he pops Ashi back to him then and uh, looks at Demi, does the sign, and then says, there's stairs, sharks in the storage room, and there's a secret door in the storage room. So the stairs are outside of the room. Yeah, it's like stairs. stairs. You go into the storage room. Sharks, secret door. You said the secret door is here. Mm-hmm. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna do this. Uh. Hmm. Oh, no one can see that. You're gonna do what? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, we see it. Yeah. Okay. Very light. That be a door. Can... Yeah, I don't know why it's so light. <laughs> There be a door here. That's it. Okay. I draw on the ground with chalk. Do we think the secret door is important right now, or do we go up? I don't know, but it's the secret door. We found two different ways to go up so far. Do we want to go up, or do we want to explore the rest of this floor? The rest of this floor is basically the area. Uh, she's going to very yeah, purposefully right be like, Hey, Morton, how are you with sharks? <laughs> Like how do we how do we get past? Uh, <laughs> my druid friend, <laughs> without hmm. a lot of noise. I I can get one of them. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I can make one of them friendly <laughs> towards me. Oh, one of them. Oh, good. Ooh. One friend I or could, not friend. Yeah, I could hit all of them with a big spell. I could talk to them. We don't need it to be loud. Oh, I can't talk. It won't Never be mind. loud. We don't need it to be loud. It won't be loud. We're for speak with animals. Oh, yeah? It won't could be loud. Could you convince sharks? I could talk to them. I'm not saying I could convince them. <laughs> I could disguise myself as a swag and go and talk to the sharks. Just tell them I'm here to check out the secret room. For maintenance purposes. <laughs> 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 okay, let's do it. 
Oh, no. Boys, let me down to check oh, up hey, on my hey, old... Hey, hey, idea. <laughs> I'm going with the broom. Anyway. Hey, you go. <laughs> Oh, a broom saving? underwater. <laughs> I need to go down to that secret room. Do you mind? No, he's got to move the door. What's the plan? Do you guys want to try that? Or do you well, guys want to do you want yeah. to? Do you want to yeah, ignore we'll or do you want to go in? I can try it. I'm going to we'll have you all roll one stealth check as more come prepares. Come on. And please also position yourselves oh. where you're going to kind of set this up. Is you that... Also, you also um, have to Okay, that's what I was going to ask. That was with Pass Without a Trace? Yeah. That's good. 24. Okay. 17. Okay. 17. 24 as well. As you kind of move down this hallway, getting yourselves grouped together in preparation for entering the storage room for darks. Morton, as you're stepping around this corner, what did you roll? 24. You hear crossing down back towards you. Coming around this corner, another patrol of Swagat. Which corner? Swimming Which corner? down this long, oh, long God. hallway that like you were there? working on. Swimming in your direction. And this way. Pause for a moment. They seem to go down this direction. Okay. Towards the arena. Awesome. Oh my God, that's so stressful. Okay. Josh, can yeah. I ask a question? Yes. Can I have Demi like make an intelligence check to see if she can guesstimate how long it was between those two patrols? Yes, you can. Okay. Please love me. That's a seventeen plus. Where the? F <laughs> what am I rolling? Uh, intelligence. What am I? Yes, plus one. Okay, eighteen. You're wagering between every ten and fifty. Okay. In the Speaking? in the game. Speak with animals. Disguise self as a swat gun. And I'm going to go in. Okay. And I'm just going to start. Hey, hey boys, how's it going? You see <laughs> as these sharks kind of lash around and they kind of slow and take pause for a moment as they begin to kind of circle towards you. Swimming in this direction, oh, no. curious. Now. I want you to initially make an animal handling check. Okay, I do have that fur bulk ability that gives me advantage on that. I knew where that was going. A... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Just animal, animal handling? handling? Yeah. Uh, 23. The shark's kind of... Hey guys, remember me? I don't. Oh, well, that hurts my feelings a little bit. Um, I'm just here to do maintenance on the secret room. Come on. Secret man. room? With advantage. With advantage. Uh, that is uh, persuasion, not, not animal handling. Correct? Your choice. Uh, I'll say that 30, you can. 30, 20. You're you're attempting to persuade them through your demeanor with them, your posture. Um, if you want. Okay. Thirty twenty. Yes, that'd be thirty twenty. Baron knows. Oh yeah, yeah. He sent me down here. Yeah, and they kind of settle back, still watching you. <clears throat> uh, uh, to the wall. Can I? Can I reach over? To <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! no! You don't know how to open it. Guidance yourself. Can Something. I reach over to Peach and Demi? And cast yeah. invisibility on the three of us. Oh, you are now all invisible. Ooh. Now, I'm gonna try and open this door. Okay, uh, roll an investigation check for me. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna get embarrassed in front of these sharks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, dirty one. <gasps> <laughs> no! Oh no! 
You know. Oh, you're doing know. so well. That the door can be opened by sliding it to the side on the rail. <laughs> See anything? I know that the door can be slid sideways. It can be pushed open. But it is locked. <clears throat> oh, darn it. I forgot that key. Um, I should probably go get that, huh? Sharks are going to insight check you. Fuck, why? <laughs> I'm so no. good at lying. They should have disadvantage because of my you know what? furball charm. No, they failed, so you're okay. They're just kind of like yeah. rotating, watching you. Like, I love a slogan that says, oh, darn it. <laughs> Gosh dang, I done forgot the key. Well, oh, darn it. Oopsies, poopsies. <laughs> the sharks just kind of watch you. Don't make any moves. I want to try one time, like, yeah. just look around. There's no, like, just press a button and thing just slides open. Roll an investigation check for me one more time. Oh, God, no. Three. No. Click, click. No. Oh. Those oh. rolls, man, are killing you. Better go get that kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I get to about him. Where the fuck did they go? Oh, yeah, you guys can hear me, but I say that to myself. Then I start crying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't see it, I'm though. Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, you guys... Okay, so... Yep. I'm gonna reach forward and grab Morton's. Cat first buddy. My little. Oh, just going up to the burn. As I say <laughs> to the shark, because I just keep walking. <laughs> or doing up, this. Up the stairs, I guess. Where are you I'm going? I'm just going towards the stairs. You're traveling towards get, I want to get out of the view line of these sharks, because I think you are out of the line of sight of the sharks right now. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'm just... Uh, I'm invisible now. I don't know where I, you guys are. I can't I cast spells. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah. So I can't talk. It just breaks your invisibility if you do it. I am aware. So, what's the plan <laughs> You here? just... I don't know, because... No Morton's just wandered down there. a hallway, and there's a bunch of invisible people standing around. Are there stairs right here? Yes, as you yeah. look to your right, there are stairs leading upward. Demi's gonna, gonna loop my arm with Morton's and tug at him. Morton's yeah. hand. A oh, bunch of invisible so forces begin tugging at you. <laughs> I'm <laughs> holding his hand. hand. I... <laughs> I want to believe I'll that... I'll just she... begin, I guess, well, leading me to the stairs? Is that what it is? Yeah, we're just right. going to the stairs. Oh, where are you? I was going to loop arms with them so we could have a Wizard of Oz moment. So you were all traveling together. Up the yes, stairs. up the stairs. We're off the stairs. With me Wizard. visible as a swoggin. You have a swoggin. <laughs> yeah. And everyone else is completely invisible. The Heading best person to do performance. Up the stairs. <laughs> and we're going to move you to the second story. Oh, oh, no. oh no. no. I thought I did something for a second. This Hello, is darkness, my old friend. As you travel up the stairs, oh, there is no. one tiny little corner on the roll twenty map that you all should be able to see. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. You are greeted. How do I by get my baby? Oh man, this is a big boy, huh? Long. Oh, they're all the size. Uh, oh, I dropped mine into the middle of the darkness. I think. Just hide the whole the earlier. You should be able to see. I don't it. know if I'm going to be able to find you with the size of this map. Let me try to do all this right. again. We're gonna okay. show up in a combat, and Peaches is gonna be in that. Room. Two Peaches somewhere. <laughs> There's two of them. Swagging Peach. Yeah. Well, Peach landed right. in a den. F Never mind. <laughs> what? A uh, what? A uh, 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 what? Uh, what? Uh, what? That's funny. Uh, <laughs> okay. Swagging okay. Peach. Um, as you uh, make really your way up the stairs, you're greeted by another long corridor. This one just as well made. It's ornate. Uh, go ahead and as you're looking around, anybody who'd like to make SD. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Three. Okay. Fifteen. Are, oh, is the second level underwater too now? You are still underwater. You kind of swam Mine. up these stairs. Still. You said perception? 
uh, investigation. Investigation. Or perception. Slutty. 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 Uh, Twenty-four. Okay, give me one I rolled a here as I get my maps in a row. Uh, <laughs> a passive investigation is 14. That's weird. Yeah, my passive is 14. Uh, my passive is 9, but I rolled a 15. I got a 24, but my passive is 14. As you were glancing around, you go, Morton, what was yours? You got a three? I got a three. Demi, what did you get? 24. You look past Morton, and directly to his left, the east, there is another concealed door. Again, a stone inlaid into this mosaic work. It's quite ornate and immaculate. There's that's, a secret cool. panel there for sure. I didn't even care, so, you know, that's cool. Secret tunnel through the mountains, and as you discover that, no, we'll keep going. What? We'll keep. Oh, going. I can feel you about to cut it off too. I was I did too. But we'll keep. Josh going. was like, "This dungeon is too big. Strap Secret in, everybody. Got your car up." Secret tunnel. Uh, can Demi look at the door and see if she can figure out how to open it? Go make another investigation check for me. Okay. Don't fuck me. That's another 19. 24. Oof. Okay. As you look initially, there is nothing. But as you run your hand down, you see a keyhole. But as you investigate the keyhole further, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem to run the actual. And as you follow the seam of this door, you find near the very bottom of the door a little slot, which appears to be the actual keyhole. Hmm. Double keyholes. Mean trick, DMs. Evil. So there's a second slot, the actual keyhole? It appears to be. But we have no key. no key. Can I? That was all. Give me one second. <laughs> can I try something? Uh, seeing the slot, Josh. Yeah. Can I form ice in the shape of the keyhole? With shape water. No? Okay. Can I... Well, wait. I don't want to use that as a key. Okay, what are you trying to do? I want to shape it so I know what the key looks like. Okay, I will absolutely let out. you do that, yes. If you try to turn it, it would snap, but you can absolutely... Yeah, but I want to, I want to like, fill it and then pull it out so it looks like... I love that. That's brilliant. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Sorry, I didn't mean to say no. I said yes. No, you're... <laughs> you did mean to. <laughs> you did mean to if say no. If you were trying no. to unlock right it with, with shape no, water. No, <laughs> I want to know what it looks <laughs> like so if we find it. Perfect. And can I, can I roll something to see if it looked like it matched any of the keys downstairs? Did we bring those keys? Uh, make a history check. I would assume you kept them on your person. Okay. A history check? Yeah, to remember. Okay. I use history for remote. 12 plus 4. I think it's plus 4. 16? Yes, 16. But I guess you, if you have the keys on you, you could just check. Uh, oh, yeah, that's fair, too. <laughs> <doesn't seem laughs> Sorry. Right. These are the keys from the, the jails. Are big metal are big. keys. This is something okay. small. Unique or neat. Okay. So, with that, her invisibility is gone. Yeah. Oh, invisibility is gone on. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. she cast. Oh, she I cast Shape Water. Thank you. Demi pops into visibility in your <laughs> Holding Morton's hand. <laughs> um, okay. I just and... thought it was sea ghosts. Yeah, so that's that's it. She's just gonna file that away. Okay. How are we proceeding, Barty? While she's doing that, can I peer down this hallway? Uh, as you glance down the hallway, you are greeted by a pretty long hall, a series of coming off of it. Look, and you are greeted by a door to the right, and again, more of that masonry. And as you look further down, a large, long room that has columns just off the side that you can catch the clues of from your line of sight through. Okay. Ooh. Uh. What did I just do? Um. Peach is gonna. Peach is still invisible. Uh, they're gonna go here and look into this room. 
Hey, hey. Um, as you go. I'm going to need you all to roll stealth again. With Pass Without a Trace. With Pass Without Woo! a Trace. To the invisible to you, advantage, advantage right? Advantage to the invisible, yes, my friend. 24. Ow. Oh. Oh. Um. You guys want to hear a uh, shocking 21. result? 21. And as mm. you... 14. 31. And I'm invisible. 24. Fucking killing it. As a group, you're able to kind of remain concealed. It's, it's quiet. And, I know, work here. Um, it seems kind of... You do work here. Peach, as you look into this do- doorway, you find it's, the ceiling and floor of this large room are unfinished stone, unlike the rest of the hallways. Light green tiles cover the walls. Seaweed grows freely throughout this chamber. Anemones, starfish, and a lone lobster crawl over. Nothing else oh. here, but you do see a few. What kind of carcasses? Medicine. I, I call out to the lobster. Is. That is a three, and I feel like my medicine is minus something. Um, yep, that is a two. A two? Um, yeah. With a two? Bones drifting around. Morton, you said you call out to the lobster? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. Hey. Get a response. All of you get a response. Oh, what? Telepathic. Uh, yes! Maybe not yes. We don't know yet. Hello. Hell oh, yeah, dude. Uh, hello. Who's, who is ah, it? Ah, hello? Ah. Who's there? Come here. Come here. Hold on. Come here. And you see, like, there's this this lobster now. It's this fairly large lobster about this big. It's bright orange with these claws. Uh, and it's got these two, like, little protruding things with little black bubbles on the top of them that kind of flick around like eyes, even though its eyes are down here. It makes it uncharacteristically human. Uh, and one thing to note is none of you are hearing this. You are all receiving this communication. Never mind. Interesting. Is there a tip? It's uh, oh, friends. We're all friends. Roll persuasion. Oh, with probably not an advantage because it's being to in mind. Thing. <laughs> Uh, 15. There is a pause. And then this lobster shuffles. Past a carcass through a clump of seaweed. You see it kind of get her now to stop and kind of see these little antenna flick upwards and the head look upwards and catch you and Pete. Peach is invisible. Yeah, it's just, oh, just, just, just more. And oh, then well, I you're a swaggin, actually. actually. Yes, I'd I like am. you to yeah. re-roll that with disadvantage. Oh, no. Don't make me lose because I had a disguise on. 19, so 15. Okay. Uh, we're good. Oh, you don't like these guys? This is... I just start putting my hands through my shark face. This is this is fake. This isn't real. Oh. I, don't, oh, no. I don't live here. Oh, I don't. What's live here. what's your name? I'm I'm Morton. And is Demi here? I will eventually walk down whenever Josh says that I okay, can. Okay, you get up. there. You're able to walk. Yeah, I'm the only other visible person. This is Demi. Hi. I'm I'm Sharon. Sharon? S H E. Sharon. Sharon. How, how'd you get here, Sharon? The mean shark man things. They took me and made me fight. <gasps> Ages. They did what? Oh. Yo. I stopped the big one. one. Oh, what was that? Is it like cat size? How or small is it? Uh, it's about the size of a cat. Is there a new quartermaster? Can I pick it up? Can um, I ask if control. I can pick make, it up? <laughs> make an animal handling check for me as you go to. Can I ask kind of, first? I won't pick if, it up. Okay, make asking. a persuasion check if you're asking. Okay, I don't want to. 19 plus 8. It's kind of like. And then there's a pause. And there's, I think. I don't have a pause. I would like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why is there a pause? What? It's like he's contemplating, like. These thoughts are new to him. Oh. 
Oh. Uh, Sean also said. And he kind of I got you. Pause. He kind of flips up into the water, like <laughs> slobs just can swim a little bit, and kind of like drifts toward you. Hands in your hand. Oh. <laughs> you took me away from here. <gasps> yes. There's 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 terrible monster. There's a monster in this tent. There, there's a what? It's a, it's a giant shark. Two mouths. And this, this angry swagon with four arms. And. It's a piece of. You, 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 yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You We're can close. come with us. This is, this is the. They live up here. This is the. The like. The, the boss ones. Uh, oh, the oh. monsters live in this part oh. of the. Oh? We need to go. Ooh. Now. We need to go. We need to go. Uh... We need to go. Let's go. I'm just gonna say okay. Let's. Yep. Um, and with let's that, let's go. We will call the episode here. Oh damn! <gasps> oh lord! Oh damn! We just got a new, right, pet. Right, we just got a new pet. Morton we just got, a got a new pet. Josh <laughs> just fucked um, up. Wonder who it's for, Morton. <laughs> we love this wild animal who wants to be freed and return. To Josh just fucked. Well, <laughs> we're not going to do it if we don't want to. I love you all. Let's go ahead and do some fan art, huh? Fan art. Hey. Oh. Oh. Fan art. One second as I prepare things for that. Chat, I like dude. chat. I like chat oh, for saying that that's our new quartermaster because. Chances are. All right, I we just... are on the. How they make him fight anything? Dude, I want this thing uh, to be like go beast totally mode. Lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to believe that he's a fortress. <laughs> hey. that he's like a crab fortress. All right, oh, guys. Man. This is the pet of tricks. Oh them. yes! Our friends. Oh, fantastic. look at your little, look at your little bee. Fantastic. So bear the owl, sweet. Xavier the bear, and Oink the pig. Ten That's out of three ten. of eight. Okay. I'm saying that mostly because there's eight other, or there's eight creatures total in that bag. Not that this is a three out of eight. This is a hundred out of ten. Yes. Art project. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. Ugh. And this one, I, I think this is a new individual for us. Dragon yes. Pearl one two six. I cast Moonbeam. Oh. I love this one. This is oh, so that's so good. Cool. Oh, oh, shit, I didn't see that one. It's the yeah, Drift me, Globe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the Moon Drift Globe with, like, when Morton did the, like, oh, leaves so over cool. the Drift Globe. Oh, my God, that's amazing. That's so cool. Thank you. I genuinely didn't see that until right now. It's we so got good. it this morning. Yep. It was so ah. good. So good. I'm so happy. You guys are fantastic. We love it so much. You guys are the best. Ah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. So, oh my gosh. Guys, come by tomorrow for uh, round table, which yes. yeah. we'll be playing in, right? Oh yeah. Hey. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Come back tomorrow for round table. And thank you all for hanging out with us. Oi. And thank you we to you Soundtail, Arcane Anthems, Boom. and Rilaris Maps. Yes. And, and donate to Extra Life. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 B